scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. You will Hit be that notification you, bell sure. to receive you more updates from us. Because we know that whatever content here sure. is going to set you, you on call at every time. It's going to make you, you a saint whatever stature that, that Christ is I assure you, you as surely as the sun rises and sets, you will find out that eventually your life will be full of disappointment. I have been sharing with us the laws that are responsible for dramatic breakthroughs. Write this down. The first thing I want you to write is nothing happens on its own. Nothing happens on its own. Failure does not happen on its own. Success does not happen on its own. Lifting does not happen on its own. Stepping into a realm of the anointing does not happen on its own. A business does not grow and expand on its own. A ministry does not become great on its own. Every level of success is initiated and sustained by laws. Write it. Every level of success is initiated and sustained by laws. L-A-W-S. Laws, principles, keys. A door does not open because you want to enter. Your desire to enter is not the seed for open doors. Access to the key is what opens the door. You can stand in front of a door. You can wish to enter. You can hope to enter. You can even ask to enter. You can beg to enter. But the door will not open. It was not designed to open just from wishing. Whoever possesses the key is the one who opens the door. Have you seen a very big door being controlled by a small key? And because that key is missing, you can stand outside from morning till night. Is that true? And so the things that we are going to be learning tonight, especially for the laws I will be sharing with you, I pray that God will help you and give us understanding to believe them in Jesus' name. Let's recap on the laws we've been discussing so far, right from part one. Can you open your notes and let's just quickly look at them. Law number one. Help me please. The law of relationships very important i don't care who you are i don't care what you studied i don't care what school you went to relationship um, is very key to success who you know matters don't say who you know does not matter no sir you are people away from your destiny you ignore those people you never get there you will find god but you may never arrive there all blessings come from God through men to you. Please repeat it after me. From God through men to me. One more time. From God through men to me. It never comes from God to you directly. It comes from God through men to you. There is an impartation that is coming from God. It's leaving heaven but it's going to pass through men to you. Are we together? Your prosperity comes from God. When it comes from men, you are in trouble. It comes from God, but men have always been channels. I told us when we started that anything money can buy, relationships can buy. I don't care what it is. Name anything you know on earth that requires money to get. Relationships. When you pay money, you don't pay stones. You pay men. You don't pay goats. You don't pay animals. When you give money, the sky does not pick the money. It gives it to the men. They can choose to allow your relationship pay for it. Are we together? 
that's law number one what's law number two help me the law of value never forget this another word for the law of value is the law of difference you can call it the law of reward that my relevance as far as success is concerned is tied to the solutions i can provide and the problems i can solve you're not solving any problem you are unnecessary and will not be needed there's no sentiment about it are we together a sick person needs a doctor a, someone who wants furniture needs a carpenter is that true yes you must find your place in the realm of greatness by becoming unique at your giftings value whatever ability you have never ask for a dimension you do not have the value to exchange for it the law of value works based on a reward system lord i want you to give me 1000 members you must rise to the place where you sustain spiritual value in terms of grace revelation access understanding and content to be trusted with those kinds of people when you rise to that level of anointing you don't have to call them they will come in response to it so if you pastor 12 people don't sit down and complain and get angry and say i i saw in my vision that i'm pastoring a nation but as you increase in value are we together the day three dead people are raised from your church you don't need to publicize for new people journalists will come you don't need to invite them is that true listen i want you to take this take this very law law too very seriously the law of value that means if people ignore me if everywhere i go i am ignored it's not because they hate me i am not a contributor are we together now the world celebrates contributors not not takers unfortunately we live in a society that is full of takers what is in this for me and life tells you there are all kinds of blessings but only a portion for those who have the ability and the grace to contribute are we together whoever solves the problem gets the reward Goliath of God was roaring and there was a throne there was a wife there was a tax-free opportunity everybody was afraid to confront that challenge but a young teenager called David came and said Saul I'm able to take on Goliath and he said what shall be done for the one who does this he will get a wife his family will be freed from tax and he will be honored David said I take up that challenge do you know it was a risk if Goliath killed David they will say we said it now go and bury him and uh, Jesse take it easy you have other sons so it was a risk standing between you and your throne is a problem to solve the kinds and the quality of problems you solve determines the reward that comes to you are we together yes that's why there are different kinds of restaurants based on the quality that they produce are we together the amount you pay for this chair is not the amount you pay for the white chair you are sitting on why they are all chairs but qualities even among the stars one excelled above another in glory that determines your 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 reward it is foolish to give so little to life and demand so much no your reward is commensurate to your value so if i think my financial returns is small that simply means i am solving small problems or solving problems for small people whoever solves a millionaire's problems has access to a millionaire's finance are we together yes the tailor who sold your cloth is laughing with your money now in his house you parted with that money because you could not sew for yourself the day you learn how to sew you will stop paying him is that true ladies and mothers you went to the market today you woke up in the morning with money in your pocket now that money is not there where did it go to it went to the one who solved the problem you were looking for so if all you do is keep meeting problem solvers you will be broke because money will continue to leave you to them the day you join them as a problem solver somebody's money now comes to you are we together 
when you solve more problems than your needs you become rich irrecoverably more problems than your needs your needs are 10,000 the problems you solve is 1,000 you are minus 9,000 that's a life of frustration up to date down tomorrow are we blessed the law of value the key to getting out of a life of complex a life of inferiority it's not just to say people don't like me oh i am this i came from this village all that is nonsense the world will throw away every excuse to honor valuable people there are sport athletes who sometimes have to speak their native languages and they will interpret nobody has forced them to speak english you know why because what they are doing is their sport their field their footballers that you see with all kinds of things regardless of their limitations they chase after them who pursues you is a sign of your value who pursues you if weak and low and beggarly people seek you is a sign that that is the quality of the value you provide for them if great influential people pursue you is a sign that that is the value listen every man's financial destiny with respect to value and solution provision is left in his hands it's left the hand of god long ago it's in your hands we have a very funny world that believes people should just bless you and give you money for doing nothing and i always ask that question who do you think you are the world is made up of 7.2 billion people who wake up every morning looking for who can solve their problems and you don't solve any problem you see that's why armed robbery and corruption is bad you see that a corrupt person has reward without value you see why we say corrupt people are bad so we see someone building houses and estates but we and whose problem did you solve if you can show us the problem you solve we don't have a problem with the rewards whether financial or otherwise so next time you ever see a rich man don't be angry find out what value what problem they are solving that answers the question as to whether pastors should be blessed or not i'm not talking of a life of extravagance you know most times when people see pastors blessed they say ah, just for talking that's the thinking of a fool the words i speak unto you they are what spirit and life a pilot is paid over 0.5 million per month why because he's flying people across places that's someone's salary for decades and someone just finishes an aviation school within two years or three years and is receiving over 500,000 is the value every accident from a plane crash ends in death immediately except some divine intervention comes so that's a risk are we together you sit down and for 50 minutes sometimes eight hours when you are traveling from africa to asia 90 percent of your journey is across water you don't see a single land and somebody is risking to take you over 45 50 000, um, um, uh, feet above sea level now that's mastery so he's rewarded you who didn't have the courage to go to that school you are the payer and the pilot who risks himself is the recipient the day you are angry what do you do you go to the school when you learn it are we together do not ever frown at a rich man again do not ever insult rich people we have this ugly most of our loved ones sincere people but they are truthfully speaking not offering any value and whenever they see blessed people they say see them see them it's a terrible way of living next time you see great people don't be angry find out what they are doing that you're not doing the law of value number three the law of competence and excellence closely related to the law of value value as a raw material is useless it must be refined before it is rewardable value must be refined before it is rewardable 
value as a potential is not rewardable it's the same thing as seeing crude oil as a dark paste of smelly substance but when you pass it through the required operations then you produce foil you produce other um, other very useful um, uh, um, what do we call it now very useful things that are required for home for cars and whatever you have and then they reward them competence is very important I taught you that excellence is a language it draws certain people to you the same way if I speak Yoruba now every Yoruba person hears immediately and they respond if I say praise the Lord in Yoruba will you answer in English you will answer in Yoruba because I spoke your language if I say praise the Lord in Hausa all who understand Hausa will answer back if I say praise the Lord in Igbo or whatever language I use that's how excellence is excellence is a language in other words whoever understands me you are invited so if you do not come to the seat of excellence it's a sign you did not hear the language and you are not invited two excellent people can come into your life and reward you the equivalent of 1000 people excellence is powerful you must be accurate you must be serious with whatever you are doing you are a tailor be excellent you are a hairdresser be excellent you are a preacher be excellent excellent requires thoroughness excellence requires exposure excellence requires having a reference excellence requires consistent development consistent development outsmarting your own records surpassing ordinary standards that's excellence anything not done excellently is not worth being seriously rewarded are we together you make yam and egg sauce but the plate is not excellent is not washed dirty plate dirty spoon you are not serious it's a sign you don't believe in your business i shouldn't come there are we together you are by that atmosphere attracting certain kinds of people the day you change your plate you are serious when people come into your restaurant you greet them you smile you're welcome sir please be seated how may we help you oh i need so 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 and so do you have cold water oh we don't have cold water here sir but we can get it for you wow he calls his colleagues because experience markets i just found a restaurant when I came here, they are so cautious, they are nice, they are wonderful people. I shouted at them and truly I later realized that I was wrong, yet they apologized. Are we together? I finished eating and I was happy. You are a cab driver. People enter your car, you don't just frown. Where are you going? I'm going to Sabo. Oh yeah, let's go. When you reach, you just pack. Oh yeah, okay, calm down my money. You will attract certain kinds of people. But one day, one rich man would disguise himself and sit down in your cab and you greet him. Hello, sir. Thank you so much. My joy to pick you. Where exactly are you going to, sir? Oh, really? You have something doing there, sir? Thank you. Before you know it, he looks at you. How much is it? 300 naira. Can you give me a discount? Well, sir, honestly, I would love to, but it may not be possible. I sincerely apologize. Let's leave it at 300. Not lie, lie. 300. I've been working in the morning. That's a terrible person. Are you learning the law of excellence? Yes. There's no need. You can be nice, loving, yet firm. It's 300. And then you drop the person. Um, sir would you want my contact details i'm always available for you my advantage is that i live within zaria i don't have to come from Sabo. if you need me i'll be ready to help you before you know it that driver attracts three or four or five people now everybody is driving but one is doing it excellently your car is neat you don't come and your car is smelling around doing all kinds of things you're driving someone he stops later on the road say okay how will we do now there are too many people who are not excellent they do regular things and they want extraordinary rewards listen stop excellence is doing ordinary things in an extraordinary way are we together i'm just recapping on these laws very important you must be excellent 
you are a hairstylist keep your salon clean you are a tailor you don't have to show us you are a tailor by pieces of fabrics all around you can organize your place are we together organize your place you can't buy an ac buy a fan get a television let people come and be watching something you must be excellent you must be competent say i receive grace to be competent if you're frying akara on the road you can make your akara the best in samaru the best in zaria find out what can i add to this akara that will make it very nice maybe the packaging someone comes to take pap why don't you say okay let me get a little trampoline just at a corner here what if he's a, a respected personality wants to come and take akara and pap does he have to sit down under smoke I said, that's how we do it here. Oh, sorry, the cups are full. People are drinking the pap. And he's sitting down. He's hungry and doesn't have all that time. But he has to wait for somebody to finish taking his pap. Then you quickly rinse it and pour his own. No, no. That is a dirty environment, a dirty lifestyle, and a life of mediocrity. Why don't you get different kinds of cups? You have brains, discern people somebody comes looking as a smart gentleman then you can start doing certain things make some cups factor your cost into it get a little if you if you want take away you package it well don't just squeeze an, a newspaper a wire paper or a, a jam paper i don't know who wrote what there there is ink you are putting hot akara on blue ink are we together now no why don't you use what's the name of this paper ladies foil paper right why don't you change if you still must use that your own akara you put it first in a foil paper and wrap it factor your cost into it everybody say excellence get a clean table clean table put everything you're welcome sit down sir and then you'll be surprised one day somebody will tell you i have a little get together and we just decided we are rich people so it's not like we're looking for what to eat but we just want to eat akara and pap and you are the one who will make it and you'll be saying i used to sell it 10 10 naira. i said no no no, we don't do that we're giving you fifty thousand. whatever you can make just make and bring not everybody is threatened by price there are people who have conquered price they are looking for quality don't ever be deceived that everybody is asking how much no there are people who have conquered price they are looking for quality they are interested in an experience not price law number what's what's the fourth law law of what very powerful law that you must never forget as it is in your mind so it will be in your life realities are first shaped in your mind before shaped in your life you don't become neat physically first no neatness starts in your mind if you are dirty in your mind and you are neat physically in three days your environment will change to look like what your mind is do not try to correct things first from the physical correct it from the mind are we together if you are lazy don't just try to prompt yourself change it from the mind everything that is wrong with your physical environment came from your mind environmental conditioning genetic conditioning you have to change your mind that's why the bible says to renew our mind by the word of god i've seen people who you try to adjust their lives and temporarily they adjust but like a rubber ring you must return back to your default position you don't believe in honor because you don't know it it is not a mindset somebody whips you and says are you not going to greet him i say good afternoon sir and then in five minutes you are back to your default position of being rude and lousy it is terrible to try to fake physically something that is not a reality in your mind you will betray yourself eventually so the key to lasting change is to first create that correction from your mindset and then naturally it will flow if you are a a dishonorable person the key is to first change your mindset are we together if you are a loud person change your mindset 
the law of the mind is powerful many people have changed their lives because they changed their mindsets some of you before you came for koinonia you insulted men of God and insulted everyone. You joined your parents, you joined your loved ones, you joined other men of God to tear down other people. But as you came, the word of God did something to your thinking. Is that true? There was an adjustment and you made up your mind that I will love all men. I leave judgment to God. Now, you don't try to not insult people. You are free already. There are some of you like we spoke about excellence some of you were not excellent at all but when you came just by observation you felt Kai, i have to be this i should iron my clothes I, i'm used to wearing clothes that i don't iron i don't care whether it's ironed or not but now i realize it's not the price of the clothes is who wears it so i iron my clothes even if it is 200 naira i don't allow my socks to be smelling around and then i now wear it no mindset the most helpless person on earth is one who is resistant to mental transformation anybody who is resistant to mental transformation there's nothing you can do with that person the law of the mind that's law number what law number five the law of faith I'll teach you two laws now very quickly and then we'll pray the law of faith we're teaching success systems the fifth law is the law of faith say after me the law of faith f-a-i-t-h the law of faith the law of faith if you will ever succeed in life you will need to use your faith what is faith faith is the action you take based on the conviction you have about god and his word faith is the action you take the name given to the action not just the belief the action that is taken based on conviction obedient action based on conviction and the word of god being the source of that conviction that's called faith so when i take action based on the understanding of the word of god i have my heart is full of conviction and it, comp it compels my life to respond accordingly. I am walking in faith. Faith is conviction plus obedience. Faith is conviction plus obedience. Faith is not obedience. There must be an instruction before obedience. Faith is not just conviction. That's called belief. That you believe a thing does not mean you have faith faith is belief plus obedience conviction plus obedience many people claim they have faith they only believe the word of god are we together numbers chapter 23 verse 19 nobody will give you a guarantee for success you will have to use your faith nobody will give you a guarantee for success read it everybody is projected one to read God is not a man that he should lie neither the son of man that he should repent have he said and shall he not do it or have he spoken and shall he not make it good in other words when God speaks it is within his power to make it come to pass say God has the ability to make his word come to pass say it one more time god has the ability to make his word come to pass write the following things down number one you will have to take risks to succeed you will have to take risks to succeed in 2010 during our kingdom wealth summit i taught in the business session that faith in the realm of success and especially in business and all of that is spelled r-i-s-k that's the spelling of faith we live in a world of people who are so risk averse so fearful they will never do anything christians are some of the most fearful people in terms of taking action it's one thing to wait upon the lord and to wait for seasons but it's another thing 
for you to know that this is a season and you close your eyes and take a step of faith brothers and sisters if you must meet jesus you must walk on that water if it be thou bid me come and he said come there are too many people who will not take action you will not start that business because you are afraid. I watch somebody lose. I don't want to lose money. I don't want to lose my shop. I don't want to do this. What if the birds die? Africa is full of what ifs and we never take action. Stand up and do something. What if I apply and I don't get the job? It will be that I wasted money. It will take 5,000 for me to go and submit my CV in Lagos. It will take another 5,000 for me to return. Maybe I will need to book a hotel, 10,000 and stay two days. If I spend 30,000 just to submit my CV, what if I don't get the job? There is no guarantee. There is no uncle there. We live in an age of fearful people, risk-averse people. Every champion, every world changer, listen to me, is a person of risk. Abraham, take your son. It's a risk. The law of faith. A time must come in your success equation where you have to close your eyes and like Esther say, if I perish, I perish. Failure is not the end of life. Don't fear failure. When you fear failure, you program it to happen in your life. Great people are not those without failures. Listen carefully. Great people are those who have learned how to rise even when they fall. The brand 7up. For years, I didn't know why it was called 7up until I began to study brands and I found out that it was called 7up because the person tried six times six times and failed it was the seventh time that he succeeded that's why he called it seven up so six down and then seven up you drink it and you are happy but you are drinking somebody's success after failure what if he stopped the sixth time what if he stopped the sixth time like many of you have stopped most christians think because god said to do something means that you will succeed automatically you will still go through the law of process and many times it will require failure why failure because you have to learn why failure because you have to build mastery why failure because you have to understand how things work the body of christ thinks prophecy is just an escape route from going through the law of process make no mistakes when you see people rise they have made mistakes that you did a business and failed does not mean god did not speak to you and believers will be the first to tell you sam i warned you don't open a shop i told you there's no money in zaria you claim that god told you you opened a shop after one week and robbers came and waylaid you and by it they will say i saw a vision it's just that i didn't know how to tell you and based on that vision you close the shop and remain broke that's why many christians are poor broke and mediocre you sit down wishing I will do something one day until somebody just gets up and does it. There is a vacancy. I don't know anybody. Oh, should I apply? Should I not apply? And you are sitting there and you watch somebody with less qualifications than you. Go and submit the CV. Listen, the world only honors men of action. Not just men of wish. Men of action. After all the planning and everything, you must take action take action i want to start the school forever you have not done anything apostle god called me to be a millionaire ceo you said this thing in the year 2000 you've not registered one company millions have passed through your hands you've not done anything i will do this i will do that the world is full of people at 84 they tell you when i was 20 years i wanted to do this and for 64 years they couldn't do anything the fearful and the cowardly never become great write it down the law of faith the fearful and the cowardly never become great there are people today i will learn how to drive in the name of jesus you started two weeks one one truck just passed near you and you said it's not by force the first time you you went to a driving lesson you were 19 now you are almost 40 you can't take a car by the road why 
not because there are no cars i don't want to die but somebody needs to carry you from one place to the other yet you see some of these house boys have you seen them during salah nine years old on bike they don't think of failure all of them they learn how to ride bike in two hours they learn how to drive their buses within two days they are august pack it for them in pz and then while they are gisting, the boys are the ones who still keep pushing it and that's how they learn in two weeks they have learned you see somebody who cannot drive anything driving to mina and you see risks that should kill him listen brothers and sisters fear runs away from courageous people fear itself as a spirit is afraid of certain people the cowardly in life never become anything one guy called me one time and he said apostle um we were going to i, I think it's a crusade or so somewhere and he said apostle sorry is it possible for us to call you if we are stranded i said no i didn't send you go there and go to that field and experience what it means to have supernatural testimonies go and stand there there are coppers the moment they post them you are here they post them to buy elsa i don't know anybody you say everybody please call on kudis call auntie that how old are you 30 because of inaction many of our parents the day they were leaving the village the only thing they left with was a blessing they returned back home after 20 years successful their parents just told them talk don't pursue women don't drink beer love god be serious we bless you bye bye when they came into the city they knew nobody but their god and they started listen let me teach you something never over pamper people give them an opportunity to take action especially for those of us who are rich love your children love everybody but don't over pamper people you must give people room to take action it is god that protects most of us that's why we have weak men today we have men who are like women you know why there is too much over pampering a young boy tells you he wants to write wayek and you tell him sit down come up with an idea how much is the form seven thousand okay think of something you can do to raise two thousand and he comes out after three hours playing computer games and he said i could not think of anything are there no grasses in people's houses to weed are we together that's why we raise a lot of irresponsible people what's wrong with meeting someone and say sir i am a young boy who is trying to um i want to move forward my parents do not have the opportunity to help me please sir can you allow me with your grass my budget is six thousand i don't know how much this will be but i can with your grass i can call my friends and you look at a young man walking his way to greatness and you can say go ahead and with it and instead of giving him one thousand or two thousand you can give him three thousand and your number you have helped that boy are we together there are many people who do not want to take action there are many men today who lost their job since year 2000 till today they have been given all kinds of flimsy excuses that's why we love prophecy because we think prophecy is an excuse for responsibility say in the name of jesus i receive grace tonight to take action give us job 325 never fear failure write it down never fear failure never fear failure for the thing which i greatly feared is come upon me and that which i was afraid of is come unto me this is job speaking never fear failure when you fear failure you create the you activate the law of expectation failure don't be afraid of stepping into the unknown be guided yes but know that no matter how people love you you will have to take that action god is speaking to someone here your excuses are over you are getting older and older and you're not getting established why because i am i don't that my uncle promised me when i was in 200 level now your uncle is dead stop crying thank god for your your father said he would not help you you must sit down 
and tell yourself, I'm not going to beg again. I sit down and I will do something. Let me tell you, heaven will back those who will take action and be serious. You are waiting for marriage to bail you out. You are a lazy person. You are a very, very lazy person. There are many men who are looking for wives. I don't have a problem with our ladies, honestly. In terms of responsibility. My challenge, especially over action, is for brothers. There are some of you looking at me right now. You are growing older, but your sense of responsibility is still at a zero level. No action. If at age 30, you are still calling home. Mom C, will you send me something? Pop C, will you send me something? Listen to me very carefully. You are on your way to being an irresponsible husband, irresponsible father. You don't become responsible just because a ring entered your hand. You must be a father first before you have children. It is not children that make you a father. It's from the word Abba. The consciousness to be a provider. Are we together? You are a man here and you are not catering for your family. They may not have the courage to tell you. But I'm telling you now, you are failing God in that family. Are we together? I wish I had the opportunity to reach some of our loved ones. Let me tell them. It's a shame when a daughter, a son, turns to their father and says, Father, it's, it's time. I, I need to buy a shirt. And the man says, what will I do? Sir, I'm, a, I'm in final year. I need money for my project. Should I kill myself? I tell you the truth. That is irresponsibility to the core. What should that person do? You are simply saying, go and be a prostitute. I don't care. Action. Today we are here by the grace of God because of action. After you plan, you must act. When you fail, you stand up, re-strategize and move forward. Let them laugh at you. The ones who are laughing at you have not taken action. That's why. You see, let me tell you. Anybody they are not talking about is because he's not doing anything. It's not because they like you. It's because you have not done anything yet. The law of faith. Matthew chapter 7, verse 7 to 8. Please give it to us. Every great man will tell you that he pursued the unknown. Every great man will tell you he took steps when there was no guarantee. It is usually when we see the results that we think the people had any guarantee. The Bible says, ask and it shall be given to you. It says, seek and seek. Although you have not found it, seek it. Listen, when I started doing something about my finances, I didn't know how to move from point A to point B. I started the journey to success understanding it in 2004 until then it was just gambling understanding but i made up my mind 2004 i said i would learn these systems i didn't know anything no opportunity for mentorship almost everybody around me was not really making it and i said no i have to learn i remember getting dr miles monroe's books and i started from there i didn't know but i began to seek listen let me tell you do not think knowledge will come and meet you and spoon feed you. Pursuit is the proof of passion. You must be passionate enough to pursue it. I watch people right now. I don't know how many times seeking for uncommon mentors in the rain, in the sun, and little discomfort. And he says, sorry, uh, the way my hair is, eh? every time I'm listening, once there's heat, it destroys me. You are not, and I let the ladies do it. That's all right. God created them that way. But you, as a man, I have headaches, so I won't listen to the message. <laughs> that means that Panadol is far from you because the grace and the resources to buy it will come through what enters your ears. Brother, say in the name of Jesus. I did shout it in the name of Jesus. From this night, I declare. That the days of wishing are over. I take action now. Go and start that business. Go and submit your CV. Don't sit down. Tell yourself, by September, I should be walking. That's faith. By September, I should be walking. And see whether the God of all flesh will not make it happen. 
Lord, I have failed, but I'm starting again. I, I see the mistakes I made. I don't have any capital now, but Lord, I trust in you. If you fall and remain there, then you have really failed. But if you fall and you still stand up, you have not failed. Are we together? Everybody say courage. Shout it, courage. There is nobody. I have watched people in this ministry rise up with no guarantee of anything. And today God has honored them. You must be courageous. Joshua was now going to be a leader over several people. Several people. God did not tell him, Joshua, make sure you eat well oh, so that you don't collapse. He said, be strong and of good courage. They will act like fools, but be strong. You are a leader. There is an anointing upon you. You watch what we do today by the grace of God and think one uncle just gave money or somebody said, I will give you venue or somebody said, no, nobody gives you any guarantee. Stop insulting your uncles, your aunties, your brothers and sisters and say, nobody is supporting me. Let your faith support you. Let your faith support you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Let your faith support you. You had a dream and you saw yourself submitting a CV in Ibadan. Apostle, but I've never gone there. I'd like you to prepare and trust God for grace. Share the idea with two or three people. Carry your CV and go to the park in the night. You are in Kaduna Park. Where are you going? In Ibadan. And see whether God, tear your Bible if you go to Ibadan and God does not back you there. He's waiting for you in Ibadan. He's not waiting for you at the place of disobedience. As soon as you get to Ibadan, in the, in the luxurious that you enter, you will now meet somebody. Where are you going? Says so like I know you somewhere. Ah, your sister's graduation. I was a classmate. Really, where are you staying? The miracle starts. The Bible says, This sign shall follow. If you don't take steps, you will not see signs. Apostle, when will I enter? I mean, I need the healing anointing. Must you die before you know you fell under the anointing? You let sick people pass you. Somebody says, I have cancer. And you just say, ah, I remember this cancer is, can, can be transferred. You see, that attitude of unbelief, you will never walk in power. What do you think a miracle service is? A show? Nobody starts with mastery. You see how children walk? They start and then they start crawling. Do you stop them from crawling? Sometimes in a bid to hold the table, they hit their head. Does that mean walking is not possible? How? The child hits the head, you, you rub it. What do you tell the child? Sorry. Sorry means sorry for now. Continue. Move again. You love that child, but you cannot walk for the child. The person who stops that child from walking is stopping him from becoming an adult. Are we together? I wrote jam five times. I didn't get it. I will give up. Are you joking? No. Look at jam and say, jam, as for me and you, one of us will give up. One of us will give up. I will walk you and weary you. Where will the money come from? Don't worry. Don't worry. God is alert and active, watching over his word to perform it. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Oh, apostle, I'm of age and I need to move from my parents' house now to get a place. But uncle did not send the money. Keep quiet. One day you get up and go and buy a bag with the 2,000 you have. Pack your clothes and say, Daddy, just like you advised me, I'm on my way going. I got one, one room somewhere and I'm going. He said, that one room, nothing. There's no carpet. You say, sir, if I don't leave, I will not become a man like you. If I don't leave, I will continue. For as long as I come back and I can go to the kitchen, who had part of my yam? You are still a child. You need to push yourself. And you stand up. And while you are moving, God is saying, watch this. The angels are backing. You do not know. All of a sudden, the moment you get there, some brothers from your fellowship will come. And God will speak to somebody. Buy him a rock. The first time you are experiencing miracles by yourself, not in partnership with another person's faith. Your faith is growing. 
and you begin to see that God is faithful for yourself. Uh, Apostle, I think I need a job before I move out of my father's house. How was your father when he moved out of his own father's house? Very fearful people. Very fearful people. Hallelujah. I teach responsibility, but you must conquer fear. You get out and you stay in that room. It's raining, and water is dropping on you from that one room. And you are just imagining the AC that is in your own house. Exactly. That's what made Moses a savior. Pushed him out. And as that rain is dropping, it drops and does something to your brain. And you say, No more. I can't live like this. I'm seeing the reality of irresponsibility glaring before me. The very next day, you will sell two clothes and buy one book. You are making progress. And sit down. You go and get financial dominion part one, two, three. And sit down. Next time you hear people are fasting, you don't say they are just... See, do you know why many of us don't take action? We have been reaping the harvest of many people's seeds. You think it's your faith that is working. The proof that your faith is working or not, leave all the support and stand alone. Then you will know whether you really have faith. Are we together? There are people who don't know how to trust God. There's this song in my heart. My trust is in you. You know the song? Sam, help me. Just that one song, one minute. I want you to sing that song because I believe God is speaking to somebody. You know the song I'm talking about? Lion of Judah, my trust is in you. Ancient of days, my trust is in you. I put them on you. Brothers, shout, I take action. Say it again. Someone has got to push you. And some of our parents love us too much to push us. Oh, I'm a graduate. Go and open a barbing saloon. The money you have can buy three clippers. I open it in the name of Jesus. Package a little seed and come and drop it in corn. Not for me, it's a principle, you know it. Go and open the barbing saloon. Are we together? Yes. There are many lazy people moving around. You may not be a millionaire, but from that little God will honor you. Tell yourself, I cannot wait until the day somebody tips me. Everybody that passes you, you are waiting and hoping they drop something. When will you start blessing others? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. Challenge yourself. Challenge yourself. Can three people come and take action and say there is no ice cream making machine in Zaria? Three of us, let's come together. How much do you have? 500,000. How much do you have? 
200,000. How much do you have? 100,000. Let's have an agreement. Let's get one of these shops and make one of the top ice cream machine machines around. You make it the first 20 people free. You launch it. Come and collect a bottle of oil here. Shake it up. I will pray on it with all my heart. You drop it on that shop, it will be like jam. Hold on, don't shout. You have never done it. How many times have I spoken about it here? Listen, listen. Action takers are the ones who move forward. You graduated 10 years ago. You submitted your CV twice. And it's because they told you. Who do you want to spoon feed you with a job? Stand up and take action. Fail honorably and come. I will hug you. I will pray for you. And you will go back. You are learning how to walk. You are learning how to walk. Everybody say, I will rise again. I'm speaking to people who tried rising. And then you went down. And Christians are usually the ones who say, take it easy. Oh, take it easy. Yeah. This, this decoration. How many people get married in Zaria? You just went to go and spend 200,000 to go and buy all this. Look at the, how many ribbons. You know, you even say you want to do canopy. You better don't destroy yourself. And all of a sudden, you see somebody will come. And just when he's opening the canopy, that's when God is bringing explosion to another church. And they'll say you are the one who is supplying this. Look at those who supply canopies. Imagine if those who supply these canopies now are here in Koinonia every week even if you don't do any other business again yet you are sitting down buying fake things fake whatever to prove levels that you have not gotten to challenge yourself the law of faith you must take action i have taken bold steps in my life bold steps in my life the word trust in the lord proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5 is from the word bata. It means throw yourself like you pick one of these are little ones. You see how these my children come to greet me after service. Some of them just run and just fly and expect that I hold them. If I don't hold them, it's still me that will pay for it. Correct? A child runs to the father. You gave birth to me, I didn't ask you. I fly. Pick me. That's what you do to God. When you take action, you put pressure on God's integrity. Lord, you said this. You said it is, it is, it is, um, what about any man that cannot cater for his family is worse than an infidel. I'm a married man with three children. Lord, I am tired of allowing, waiting for my wife to come back with 20,000. And that's what we're all feeding from. These children cannot go to school. Lord, I receive grace to take action. I will go and seek advice. I will go and receive prayer. I will receive an impartation, but I will take action. The anointing can come upon you. But you must take action for it to work. When did you ever lay hands on somebody to be healed? Oh, let me run to prayer department. Benga. Or let me run to promise. Or oh, anybody. Let me run to any of the people. Oh, let me run to this. I think I'm hungry. Let me run to the welfare mama. Please ma. You too, you know the way Nigeria is. That if you, if you don't challenge yourself, you will never rise. You need to take action. Take action. Take action. Tell yourself, no, I'm going to be responsible. Lord, I trust you. Lord, I believe you. There are many of us who have never sown a seed. Do you know why? Because of fear. Never sown it. God cannot even tell you to empty your account. Yeah, 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 yeah. You will bind, bind and cast and curse and say, let this voice never speak to me again. That's why you can never rise. I'll never forget the time the Lord gave me an instruction to sow everything. Over 80% of all my clothes, aside from what I did in Port Harcourt, and I just carried those things. When I sold them, it was as if I would die. Now, I live if God tells me to empty my account and empty my life and everything, I would do it gladly because I know Him. I know Him. Not because I like it, not because it's convenient. When you know God, then you'll be able to take certain steps. Are we together? Yes. Listen. The workers in this ministry start dressing, arranging chairs and canopies way before people come. Did anybody sign an agreement that by evening all the overflows will be full? It takes faith. We believe what God has said. We believe that we are adding value. And so in the morning, people start preparing. Imagine that you wait until people come. Then you now say, oh, there are plenty of people today. Oh yeah, let's go. 
do you know that every space you give God is what he feels you have not taken action that's why your shop is still small and you are there God has been prompting your spirit move to a bigger one and say ah God don't mock me so you will never see the miracle the law of faith Hebrews chapter 6 verse 15 God is speaking to someone tonight Hebrews chapter 6 verse 15 ah this thing I've shared it has fired my spirit and so everybody read talking about Abraham read on and so after he had patiently endured did what lion of Judah my trust is in you over my destiny my trust is in you help me sir. lion of Judah my trust is in you sing that song with understanding put them on you sing my trust is in you ancient of days my trust is in you oh i am that i am my trust is in you oh i put them on you my trust is in you. I say, I put them on you. My trust, my trust is in you. It takes faith to begin to prepare for five children when you are not yet in a relationship. I'm preparing. Oh, I don't want to waste my time. Who will come and marry me? Let the guy come first. When he comes, and I'm sure the day he ever says, I will go and see your parents, I will read like never before. You will never marry that way. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. Oh, five children are going to come out from this womb. You take a step of faith. You have not entered any relationship. Who knows me? Look at that foolish question. What do you mean who knows me? God? The God you serve? You lay your hands. Shea, you are bringing five children from this womb and they will all be a blessing. No giving birth to armed robbers. No giving birth to terrorists. I will not give birth to a son who will kill me because of trouble. You are preparing. You go and buy a book in advance. The power of a praying wife. You go and buy a book. God tells you you marry a man of God. You don't wait until a preacher comes. He may marry you as a civil servant and after five years God calls him into ministry. God didn't lie but you didn't prepare. God told you you are going to be a millionaire and you are waiting and say, God, when you said I'm going to be a millionaire, my palm sanders, everything I have home and abroad is 10,000. I can sell all my clothes for 20,000. That's foolish thinking. You go and buy a book. Lord, you have called me into kingdom financing. You told me I'm going to mentor and raise a generation and bless people. You do it. You put pictures around. Put a picture on your laptop that represents your future. And every time you see it, you prophesy. I may be small now, but in the name of the Lord Jesus, I have no father, I have no support, but I'm coming. I'm coming. I trust the name of the Lord. I may be weak. I may not be able to explain to people I'm doing something. They may even say you are lazy. What are you always doing in a room? Why are you always sitting down when you say, I'm building my mind? They say, what is mine? Are we going to eat mine? Just continue. The day God honors you. Then you will stand and sing this song that we are singing tonight. I believe that there is an anointing on this song this night. That people have to trust God. Take action. Trust God. It takes faith to be great. It takes faith to have a healing ministry. Nobody gives you a guarantee that anybody will be healed. It takes faith to be a man of God. It takes faith to be a businessman. It takes faith to be a wife and a mother. You are not allowed to have a child ordinarily before marriage. So how do you know you are fruitful? It takes faith. Lion of Judah, my trust is in you. The ancient of days, my trust is in you. Oh, I am that I am. My trust is in you. There are people who will never build a house in their lives. Many of our fathers, 
their salaries were 150 now they are retired there is no house you know why because of fear i will build it one day i don't have enough money then god granted you grace they created one scheme in your job and gave everybody land four plots of land is more than enough to build a family house mostly their wives would tell them honey build build time is going this how much is the money there's one money i'm expecting it will come tomorrow god said you have hundred thousand it can bring one tip of sand go and bring it and pour it on the side that's faith you are saying lord i'm starting this out the hand of zerubbabel that started when you start god begins to move people i remember the first day we bought equipment i remember one by one one by one i remember when i started buying you know not even just for ministry for myself to think and say one day i'll get a laptop is a joke a laptop who gives you the money see hear me this god is a good god worship team told us already this god is a faithful god but while you are waiting for him i don't know who i'm speaking to this night god is saying i'm tired of waiting for you take a step 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 who told you the business will fail take a step are we together take a step. Ah, i have one million naira now i'm thinking of starting small poultry i'm thinking of getting a little golf but i hear that this cars used to spoil a bee and that your profit doesn't come out so you will remain there until the day somebody comes usually those kind of people will sit down and then something will happen you will carry hundred thousand from it something will happen they will invite you for one event that doesn't have head and tail and they will massage your ego and you will know when you carry three hundred thousand on behalf of me and my wife i donate this money and the money has finished and you'll never be successful success systems the law of faith every great man walks on water every great man walks on water it is your faith that turns that water to concrete. We are going to sing this song one more time. And then I will go to the next law. But I want you to sing it with understanding. I have trusted men, they have failed me. I have trusted systems. I trusted my certificate, it failed me. Lord, I lift my eyes and I trust in you. You are the one who can wipe my tears. My uncle promised me and disappointed me. Many have concluded that because I finished with the past, there is no greatness. That's what the devil wants to do all the time to make you not trust God. But I'm challenging men of faith. Lion of Judah, my trust is in you. Psalm 89 verse 17 the law of favor Lord I pray that somebody will get this in the name of Jesus I pray that somebody will get this Psalms 89 verse 17 
For thou art the glory of their strength, and in thy favor shall our horn be exalted. Favor is the number one reason people succeed. Favor is the number one reason. The number one reason why you will succeed is favor. You need favor to achieve your goals and dreams. You need favor to achieve your goals and dreams. It is impossible to get to the place of destiny without favor. No, sir. You've heard people say that one day of favor is worth a lifetime of labor. It is hardly an exaggeration. One day of favor is worth a lifetime of labor. Many people do not have favor in their lives. Why? Because they are not taught what favor is and how to release favor in their lives. Those who are even taught favor are only taught one side of favor. And it's like whenever you say favor, we leave it unto God. God just favor us now. There is an exact equation that leads to favor. Favor is not a miracle. Write it down. Favor is a reaction. Favor is not a miracle. Favor is a reaction. You can program favor in your life. A reaction means that it is a response. Favor is a reaction. It's not a miracle. Favor miracles can happen and do happen. But favor is not a miracle. What is favor? Let's define favor. Favor is when someone is willing to invest their life, their time, their resources, their credibility to help you achieve your goals that's favor when somebody is willing to participate in your success it's called favor when someone is willing to invest their life invest their credibility invest their money invest their knowledge into you to help you achieve your goals it's called favor favor is not just unmerited access that's a very limited thinking, limited teaching, limited definition. And it's the reason why, let me tell you, whether it is merited or unmerited, favor is access. Calling it unmerited alone is very limited. Favor can be merited. Favor can be merited. Your obedience and understanding. The Bible says good understanding secures favor favor can be merited what is favor someone willing to sacrifice their resources to help you succeed all success are related to favor all success whether all kinds of success financial success ministry success business success marital success they are directly related to favor all success testimonies you want to write all success testimonies are related to favor i have heard so many success testimonies there is not one of them that is not related to favor there is a gap in that testimony all success testimonies are related to favor are you learning something write this down who likes you matters in your success who likes you matters in your success brothers and sisters one man called Ahasuerus hated one one woman and her entire life crumbled just because one person of influence hated her are we together 
the same man who hated one woman and destroyed her entire life turned and loved Esther and her life changed overnight from a village girl to a queen who likes you matters now many Christians think it doesn't matter I don't care who likes me or who doesn't like me if you are speaking in terms of dependence on God I understand that context but in terms of channels to release favor is a joke who likes you matters there are people listening to me from Joss we came back from Joss and um, while I went to minister in Joss you know part of the system of honor for me there was a little girl lovely lady and that they gave this thing they put on the neck and flower you know just to greet me and as soon as I got into the hotel there were people lined up and the little girl was standing and then you know would come you know recite I didn't even know what she was saying you know you are welcome to so and so and so and then put that thing and then gave me and I looked at the lady and I fell in love with that dear girl instantly and I told her I said do you know what you are my friend when I came on stage I made sure that they looked for her 10 years old and she stood because I liked her not because I know her I just liked her the next day I said they should bring her to the hotel we would drive together it was together I was gisting with her and I looked at the lady and I said I want to do something for you I want to do something for your family please bring your mother I want to see her now the rest is history but that little girl's life changed in two days simply because somebody liked her do not let anyone lie to you that who likes you does not matter i don't mean who wants to sleep with you who likes you likes you like from heaven likes you to change your life let me tell you the truth listen 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 take what i'm saying very seriously don't just laugh listen who hates you also matters when your boss hates you you will know that it matters because your life will be miserable you may be tongue talking but your boss hates you ah do you know this lady has been serving actively it's time to promote her I, I just hate her please another time and that another time is after three years but there's somebody they can like you as ah, has this person not been in this office for up to two years they say, yes sir. i thought it's three three years I, say, I changed the policy somebody like daniel and could not sleep in the night because some people manipulate a king stop sleep because he liked daniel early in the morning he got up by himself oh daniel has your god been able to deliver you daniel said i'm alive he said bring all those people daniel didn't say please can you help me punish these people the king said me bring them throw them kill all of them somebody because he likes you can fight your enemies for you enemies you don't have capacity to fight somebody can like you and put himself inside your situation what is going on here sir they want to collect our land our father is dead we are only two say no way i'm a lawyer come and meet me in my office i'm a lawyer i'm a senior advocate what did the person say because of that we will charge him to court he will not only return the land he will give you part of the money for the foundation i know what to do let's go and you are seated somewhere and you see people building a house you know nothing about because somebody liked you who likes you can change your life write this down one person can open a hundred doors of opportunities for you one person one man one person in your life showing you favor can open a hundred doors of opportunities first samuel 16 verse 22 please give it to us quickly first samuel 16 verse 22 jesus thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you and saul sent to jesse saying let david i pray thee stand before me why for he had found favor in my sight go and tell that boy's father bring me that smelly boy regardless of what it is let me tell you when you find favor before a man regardless of what your limitations are they are ignored to bless you you are responsible 
for activating the flow of favor in your life now this is coming as a shock to many of us write it down we're getting deeper now you are responsible for activating the flow of favor in your life if one day god will bless me it's a joke you are responsible for activating the flow of favor in your life the bible tells us in first samuel chapter 2 verse 26 that samuel grew in favor with god and with men first samuel chapter 2 verse 26 226 and the child samuel grew on and was in favor both with what the lord and also with men listen it is one thing to have favor with god it is an entirely different thing to have favor with men i know so many people who have favor with god but they don't have favor with men luke chapter 2 verse 52 same thing was said about jesus luke chapter 2 and verse 52 and Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and with men. A man can increase in favor with God and favor with men. The number one reason for the hardship in people's lives is lack of favor. Lack of favor. I have seen gifted people who don't have favor. I have seen blessed people in terms of abilities i have seen gifted architects no door of favor gifted engineers gifted doctors gifted students no favor i have seen gifted men have you seen men who are gifted they do work for you and you are like my god and you are at this level i know people who know everybody known yet there's no favor in their life you know that they know senate president they know one the chairman of their local government the governor's friend is their father's friend and they have they will show you the numbers of people if i show you look at this is saraki's number this is dogara's number in fact do you know that when i was staying in lagos there was a day that osimba joe came to our house i know him oh and there's no favor they watch everybody on tv ah that's ambassador abc you remember him now 1971 no favor no favor to be gifted is not enough you need favor you need men to partner with your life this ministry by the grace of god is rising not just in terms of finances because of favor favor my life today is is a humbling testimony of god's favor Psalms 102 verse 13. Psalms 102 verse 13. Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Joshua Selman. Why? For the time to favor him. Yea, the set time. There is a set time for favor. And everyone prophesy to yourself, say, this is my set time say it again this is my set time turn it into a prayer in one minute lord this is my set time when promise came here he said pray tired of hardship hardship is different from poverty a hard life a life unassisted by men a life unassisted by helpers is a sign of lack of favor you can have money and not have favor when you pay for everything by yourself you don't have favor now is the time of oh God that you arise the set time the set time hallelujah how many of you believe that from this night favor will begin to follow you yes I don't share my testimonies do you know why because many people misunderstand my testimonies when I share testimonies, most people, not you, but maybe most people will think it is, um, it is pride. You are boasting. What does he think he is? If I share with you testimonies of these ministries, what does he think he is? 
but sometimes it's good to encourage people testimonies are ways that let people know god is at work but because we live in a cynical world every time you speak people think you are bragging listen let me tell you brothers and sisters god is my witness and ask everybody who is close to me i only fund less than 20 percent of my life ex expenditure everything almost everything in my life is paid for by men everything everything now you can have the money to pay for it by yourself we are not the same you are not assisted are we together most people think having money is all there is to favor no the ability to have men stand up and say promise i am determined to make you succeed if you don't believe that thing there's no need for a comment for koinonia this night i looked at certain things in the body of christ and i looked at certain men i looked at certain ministries and i saw tears some testimonies of favor their life revolved as they wanted it was as if there was a charm anyone who saw them blessed them one of the greatest people let me tell you i am convinced I received the impartation of favor directly from Dr. Mike Modok. I knew when it came upon my life. You know why? He's a man that is greatly criticized in the body of Christ because of seed, seed, seed and all of that. I may not necessarily believe everything, but I saw uncommon favor. Uncommon, a favor like a charm. And while others were grumbling, I said, Lord, this man is an apostle of wisdom. He is the gift of God to the body. He represents the spiritual system that controls wisdom. And the Bible says with me, wisdom now are riches, wealth and honor, durable riches and righteousness. He said by me, kings reign and princes decree justice. And I said, Lord, this thing must happen in my life. At that time, you don't ever see somebody say, God said I should do this. God said, I used to think those things were just stories. You know, when I think about my life today, I almost want to shed tears. You know why? Because I am a product. I am, if you are ever looking for a man who answers that name, Ebenezer, that a man that God has helped, God lifted your hands. That's why when I worship God, I, 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 I do it. I live a very happy and a very peaceful life because I found the key to God's favor. There is no time in my life when I lack men to rise and assist and defend. This ministry, you see, we are not just fearfully blessed just because of tithes and offerings. The ministry of men strange dimensions of favor that I begin to share with you many of you will be afraid how do they get money we are not herbalists favor when you access these laws it will change you overnight are we together I'm wetting your appetite and then I'm going to teach you quickly while I begin to teach them just bring the vessels and then we'll pour the oil because what is coming upon you tonight is the grace for favor. I want you to believe it. There is such an impartation upon a man for favor. Father, please let your people believe you. Please, please let your people believe you. If you don't believe this, you will pay for it. I promise you. There are times for months months i never go to the atm i even forget that i have an atm there is no 24 hours no 24 hours that somebody does not bless me no 24 hours i can give you my phone now and you can check from when i sat down till now alerts upon alerts how they got my account number i don't know 
brothers and sisters there are properties that have been given to me today i don't know where it is i've not gone there to see it do you believe in favor i shared with you last year about the gold mine 18.7 hectares of a gold mine given for nothing three kings came together and said we must make sure he has it it is not by might it is not by power are we together there are tailors that sew my clothes aside from one i have never aside from another again two really one a cousin to reverend george adeboe of rema he may even be listening now with his wife every time i travel to lagos to a particular church for meeting there he comes with his wife materials upon materials favor there are bags full of gifts i have not opened since they came i don't even know what is there who told you favor does not work there are mysterious people who have sent a lot in millions to this ministry nobody knows who they are they didn't even call to say i am so 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 and so what makes you think there is no favor I have never bought a car with my money. I have never bought a car for myself with my money. The only car I ever bought with my money was to bless my mother. All the cars you see came to favor. Not one naira. I know many of you are just knowing it now. There is not one car that came. hear what I'm saying? You have to believe this. I hope you don't think I'm bragging. I'm opening your eyes to know that there is such a thing as favor. We've been to the airport many times and I'm sitting minding myself and somebody just comes, oh, this and that and that. And you go and people cry and say recession and cry. Listen, there are businessmen who covenanted with God that a percentage of their profits every time they transfer it to me. I don't know them. I only got a text. This is our covenant with God. My phone right now currently has a recharge card of 62,000. What will I do with it? What do you do with a recharge card of 62,000? What do you do with it? It's more than the price of the food. Do you believe what I'm telling you? Yes. Where men arise and make things work for you almost every day apostle i saw something do you like it there is a woman here i don't know if she's here i wish she were here i would have said she should stand up yesterday after school of ministry i was at the back and a gentleman just came trusting god i think he's here and you know just felt he wanted to sow something and just held some very serious amount dropped it now i see these things all the time and i thank god but it was a woman's testimony that blessed me i saw her with a big bag some of you were a big um, bucket a small bucket and i said madam what is this she came with her son do you know what she said she said man of god i was having a dream and in that dream you said you wanted to eat chinchin and the mother the woman got a bucket full of chinchin 
and came yesterday it is still it is still i've not even opened it to see what is there change it. favor favor day and night day and night day and night this is the only way you can succeed and accelerate your life any other thing you will cry and weep and hate people that's why we cannot give because after sweating so much for 50,000 will you really be able to give it are we blessed Testimonies. there is no place and there is no day that I wake up I wake up every day may God forgive me if I'm lying there is no day I don't wake up in the morning with text messages with recharge cards and bank alert every day including today without fail this is how I live because I found from scripture that he daily loads us with benefits sometimes I can be sitting down and see a conga van you ask the boys that work for me a conga van bam, just stops somebody has ordered something and paid for it put my address and they are offloading these things and I'm saying God what is this what are you doing to me and God says no you can stop it you can stop it if you want I'm waiting your appetite to activate this key. Do you really think you can live a joyful life? When you sit down, you really think your salary is what is going to bless you? To be established, who lied to you? There is a realm of favor. Are we together? I've shared with you the testimony of this ministry. Where a woman, after a program in Lagos, the woman just came, knelt down in front of me. And looked at me and said please the Lord led her to give us a land and gave us a land in Lekki it's still there I've not been there in years to see it people have called me and said they gave me a land allocated to sell man of God on behalf of our business we put a B C D portion this is for you and I'm saying God what is this they gave us an assignment to develop maybe a 40 50 estates you know houses and all of that a man of god just to let you know that we have three or four units as our own commission and when we are done one of the units is yours and i'm saying what is this you see why i don't share my testimonies because it makes people angry and when it makes people angry they hate most people sit down and say preachers carry people's money tithes and offerings how much how much access access are we together now on on tuesday we're going to kano tomorrow and on tuesday we're going to nigerian immigration services their headquarters where the top leaders of Nigerian immigration across the whole nation I have been with them for how many years now I think about four four years we go there every year I talk to them I counsel them the top of the top leaders you don't even enter their office yet for them is a privilege well done sir well done sir that's favor listen listen I'm not teaching you cunningly devised favors favor is not just money men are rising to assist you to succeed after my meeting in Joss I had a little session for a school of ministry in Joss and when I was done a lady walked up and gave me something and said please go and give your mother I said hi this thing is still working I just met my mother I said I met a lady I don't even know who she is she said I should give you and my mother said this is what I prayed for I was ten. I think it was um, a big letter of crayfish and she said I should go and give my mother it is difficult to glorify God when you kill yourself producing the result there is like Bishop Oyedeko called sweatless triumph there is such a possibility if you don't believe it choose your destiny but as for me I have decided that hardship will not age me I will not sit down and be I will never come and manipulate you and deceive you all of you so to 2,000 naira so that I can have food to eat not when there is a God in heaven how to activate favor 
what is the mystery that controls this thing favor is not just unmerited access what is the key Jesus the first key to activating favor is sowing the seed of honor the first key to activating favor in your life is sowing the seed of honor write it down honor is the first key sowing the seed not receiving a harvest of honor you must sow the seed for honor because honor is the key for access when you sow seeds of honor you begin to activate favor what is honor the ability to recognize the ability to celebrate and the ability to reward men for their uniqueness that's honor not just the ability to appreciate it in your heart the ability to recognize the ability to celebrate and the ability to reward men for their honor the seed of honor i don't mean money a seed called honor you sow honor into a man's life there are many people who will never rise in life because of this honor no favor in their life they don't know the difference between a great man and a weak man everybody is the same to them all men are equal and hey, please i don't do all of this no honor many of you don't know why we sow seeds of honor we transport you after koinonia do you know why it's a seed of honor we are programming honor upon the ministry it's not just that we have a lot of money when our elderly people come we don't let them join the queue except they want to they sit down is a seed of honor when i hug our children here is a seed of honor my life is a walking seed of honor i have mastered sowing seeds of honor the first key to command unending favor honor honor through conversations honor through your body language honor through your vest your gestures you see an elderly woman and i greet her mama how are you that's the seed of honor oh she cannot speak english no problem mama don't put yourself under pressure you don't have to know english find an interpreter seeds of honor are we together now yes i sow seeds of honor everywhere once you discern difference you sow that seed of honor that you are close to an environment of honor does not mean you will have it you must sow seeds of honor to parents the entire hamper that was given to me while i was in jaws they already know i carried it with the wine and everything and i took it home as i got home i just dropped it when my mother heard i was coming to Josh, she said what do i want i said i'm not sure I'm, she should not do anything my mother refused and said she must do something she made chin chin and made chicken that's my mother but she has discerned that this is not only my son this is a man of god seeds of honor that's why honor keeps coming honor is not coming because she's my mother she's walking these principles let me tell you whoever walks it will receive it bad manners being rude dishonor you are driving favor from your life you don't treat people well you treat everybody like a piece of rag there are men of god who favor stopped in their life when they rose because they have no regard for anybody they receive honor from others but they don't give honor so those lower than them let me tell you the mystery behind stagnation of favor for many men they keep receiving honor those lower than you keep honoring you but then you yourself don't give honor so you remain there and all of them rise and catch up with your level and even go higher than you then you start saying you people are competing with me abby there's no such thing you refuse to rise because you too are supposed to be rising they are sowing seeds of honor if you keep sowing seeds to me in koinonia whether money or whether whatever and i don't do the same thing you need to see me when i stand before greatness you will not know it's the same apostle joshua selma you're talking about if it means me cleaning the shoes i do it with jesus joy honor it's a big secret many of us do not know honor honor i honor the holy spirit with my life i don't just serve him i don't just use him for anointing 
Koinonia honors the Holy Spirit. That's why you see all kinds of signs and wonders. We don't ignore his presence. It doesn't matter what we are teaching. As the worship team, whatever happens, the Holy Spirit has unrestrained honor in this ministry. That's why we keep seeing signs and wonders. That's why we keep seeing him lifting us from place to place. Every church I have gone to, I have honored them. Honor them not in terms of money necessarily, but honor them in terms of treating them well. I don't climb anybody's pulpit and violate their doctrinal beliefs, regardless of what it is. I manage whatever it is they believe and I preach well. If their pulpit, if it's a church that they are not allowed to jump around and move and stand in one place, I stand in one place because it is honor. And at the end of it, they say, wow, we found a young man who is anointed. There are churches I preach, you never hear me pray in tongues once. It doesn't mean I don't, they do not allow that in the open. And then I, I subscribe. Honor. Are we together? I'm showing you success systems. These are the mysteries that people have engaged that has changed their lives. Honor. You must sow seeds of honor. Number two. How do I activate favor consistently? Not today up and tomorrow down. Two, value. We've spoken about it. You activate favor in your life when you solve people's problems. When your life is committed to solving people's problems, providing valuable solutions to them, is drizzling outside please coordinate them if some of them can come in let's this is coming or they, sh they can get into the the um the canopies thank you so much some of them who can come in you can bring them in but most of them can go to the canopies god bless you and thank you hallelujah solving problems we are blessed as a ministry because we solve problems as i'm teaching now i'm adding value to you is that true I'm adding value. Listen, let me tell you something. Your, when you start solving people's problems, you should do honor. Thank you, sir. There are people I've never seen who call me. Man of God, I just listened to your message, Essentials for a Glorious Relationship. You just saved our marriage. Here is a little seed. Man of God, I just listened to your message, Financial Dominion. Man of God, I just listened to your message, Why Revivals Die. Solving Problems. The moment you solve problems, you show honor. And everywhere there is honor, I teach that there is favor. And everywhere there is favor, there are all kinds of rewards, including finances. So the more valuable you become in solving people's problems, Joseph scheduled a season of favor for himself because he was in the prison and he noticed that the prisoners were not laughing. Dr. Mike Mudo calls wisdom the ability to discern difference. And he saw that their countenance, something was wrong. And he asked them, what is wrong? They were not the ones who came and told him the dream. He said, what is wrong? And he said, ah, okay, you have asked, let me tell you. This is what happened. And he interpreted the dreams and it happened. Value. You must begin to solve people's problems. They will love you. They will honor you. You must cry to God for grace to be a problem solver. You are either creating problems or solving them. You are either creating problems or solving them. If some of these chairs are free, please let's, let's not have people stand. They can occupy the chairs. God bless you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Number three. The third key to commanding favor in your life is integrity. The third key to activating favor in your life is integrity. Integrity. Very, very important. What is integrity? It comes from the word integer. Sameness. Consistency. Let me tell you something. You're a man of God here. Listen to me. Before people begin to bless you and sow into your church or your ministry, they will probe your life. 
don't think because you just started ministry people will bless you they will probe your life they will hear testimonies of changed lives and want to watch whether he's like one of them after a life a season of integrity and consistency then they conclude you know let me tell you something hold on many people think that the moment you are anointed you are charismatic people will just be loyal to you like that it's a dream there are many anointed people who have attention but no loyalty do you know why because people must vet your life and find out that you are worthy of their loyalty nobody will be loyal to you like that parents will not just ask their children oh i don't have a problem with you loving this man of god give people a chance to probe your life and clear their doubts then they will honor you are we together when we started out in this ministry most people thought that you know we're just joking most people thought it was all this young people's thing and for, for, for years, most people thought I was on serious. It's just all these young guys doing things on campus. It's just these people trying to do something. But eventually, I never was angry with them because every great man must be probed. Saying people should not probe you is a joke. They check your character with ladies. They check your character with money. They check your character with discipline. They see how you manage challenges. They see a lot of it is based on that they will say, Kai, this man is worth my commitment. We have seen that God brought two naira to his hand and that two naira did not change him. He did not stop preaching the truth just because he's looking for food to eat. This is a consistent man. This man will be my pastor. There are many people roaming around calling everybody son, calling everybody daughter. What investment have you made in their life? You must allow people to probe you. You start a business and they suspect whether your product there are people when i started out because of the dimension of the anointing in my life many people thought you know you know anytime you see somebody walking in unusual levels of the anointing you may think that maybe some kind of charm or whatever it is and i used to hear people say it and i say leave them even me if i attended koinonia and i watched a man called joshua selma i would think he's holding a charm and then you watch there are many people some of you seated today years ago you would be the last person to be here because you had your differences some of you argued it but with time now you are some of the strongest people do you know there are people in many nations of the world and their assignment is to take koinonia messages there are whole churches that sit down and what they use for either evening service or midweek service is a koinonia message and they just sit down there are youth groups youth fellowships around you know why because they took out time to probe you and when they see integrity the ability to be unbending regardless of the situations there are men of god who start teaching and say don't manipulate money from people but the day they have needs as a ministry they start bending to that standards are we together yes once people see integrity and consistency then they make up their minds to listen to anything you say listen let people probe you until they find a reason to believe you never stop anybody listen if there is anything you are unsure of about my life and this ministry you have a right to sit down and clear your conviction so that you are confident are we together Many of you get angry when people suspect you. <laughs> How come Pastor Alpha have been watching him? The way he has been rising in the last three months. This guy may have taught something. Abba, am I not innocent? Let people probe you. Up so that when they believe you, they will be the greatest defense. I know you. There are people to do it. They are the ones who are defending this ministry. Ah, no. I used to know this brother. There was a day he gave me 50 naira. He started his giving sins. Do you know the people who accuse you today will be the ones to defend you tomorrow give them a chance to have a testimony by themselves there are people who think the miracles that we announce here are manipulated or faked simply because they've heard that maybe some churches do a lot of things and they come here and then the person who falls under the anointing is seated close to them they watch it with their own eyes and then eventually their own sicknesses leave and they go back and say wow i have seen for myself integrity the third key to activating favor 
consistency integrity unbending unbending consistently producing results when we started the school of ministry this is the fifth set now when we started the school of ministry most people thought it was a joke let me tell you something look up please as a man of god let me give you a great advice the moment you are doing too many things and you cannot continue in them men will stop believing you you just get up today and says we have 14 days of fire vigil and then after 12 days a kite we found out that things are happening we are not doing this again there are too many inconsistent people we are going to start koinonia business school and after two weeks nobody comes then you close it when people probe you and they see that you are too erratic you know what it means to be erratic you just come up with programs there's no consistency nobody will submit to such an authority people want to see consistency they want to know that this is who you are they want to know that you can be predictable you never hear anybody come and give testimony here i don't care whether you're a millionaire or whatever i have never gone to the house of anybody in the name of going there to find out and say okay we are some of our top uh, offering givers and tight payers in koinonia i love you so much and uh, i just wanted you to know that we have the following needs no if i've ever come to your house to tell you we have the following needs stand up hallelujah how many men of god have destroyed integrity from their lives they go around harassing church members and look at people and say uh we don't know if god is speaking to you there's a drum set the thing has turned honestly it's embarrassing and you inconvenience people everywhere integrity please bring bring the, the containers now number four the third the fourth key to activating favor is quality relationships quality relationships favor is relationship dependent that's why i taught you those other laws quality relationship who you know matters it gives you access men can be wings to you men can become wings to you there are people we know today that can speak for us there are people i know today that can speak for me are we together they can make ex exemptions for you you sow seeds of favor seeds of favor and it changes your life forever relationships number five the third key to activating favor is praying favor provoking prayers there are favor provoking prayers the bible says for everyone that asketh receiveth everyone that asketh lord open my heavens cause men to bless me put an anointing upon my life that makes men bless me favor provoking prayers you can pray your way among other things into favor favor provoking prayers many of us don't pray i pray it seriously lord this ministry is a well watered garden people are coming givers are coming my life is a good soil people are sowing into my life as they sow into my life they receive a hundredfold harvest when you sow into a man's life and you receive a harvest nobody will tell you to do it again you will continue doing it again and again and again they sow into your life and nothing happens these are the seeds that you sow and then number six the sixth way of provoking or activating favor in your life is by an impartation from the careers of that anointing an impartation of the grace for favor an impartation of the grace for favor from the careers of the anointing this oil is not what anoints you this oil is simply oil when the oil is anointed then it becomes a medium to bless you the oil in itself has to be anointed this is not anointing oil this is oil after the prayers on it it becomes an anointing oil and it can bless you can favor be transferred can that grace the mantle the grace for favor be transferred absolutely there are people in this ministry that are carrying it bodily 
there are people who have begun to see it in their lives like day and night people call me all the time and say my god apostle this thing works like charm and tonight it will come upon your life what does favor give you in life speed speed what are the benefits of activating favor speed speed something that would take men 10 years can be achieved in three months under an atmosphere of favor What are the benefits of favor? Number two, ease. Ease. The mystery of ease. People like Bishop Oyedeko would call it sweatless triumph. Ease. Where the lines just fall for you in pleasant places and you have a good heritage. Battles that stand before you. While you are preparing to fight them, you open the door and find dead bodies. Favor fought your battles. Favor has fought my battles in life. I have seen ah, for the things you have done and the battles you have won. Only you are worthy of my faith. We magnify your name. Koinonia, look at this. We are in Zaria in the north. This whole road. This is a major road, but this whole road is blocked every Friday. Every Friday. Go and try to block a road somewhere in the name of service and see what happens to you. Everything works for our favor in this ministry. Everything, regardless of what it is. You try to fight this ministry, you will watch by yourself activating favor and making it happen. You don't fight a man of favor and win. It's a waste of time. It's like boxing in war. Where a man that carries the mantle of favor is untouchable. Literally untouchable. Because God will raise help left, right and center. Left, right and center. Left, right and center. Many of our parents have no favor. No doors opening for them. Nothing happening. Favor. Koinonia today is a place of favor. 70% of the people who are blessed by this ministry have never seen me. How do you follow a man when the videos are not even uploaded on YouTube? They don't know the picture. The first and only time certain people have seen me is dreams. Yet you listen to the message, it forces you to look for someone and give him. Whether you like it or not. That's not normal. There are people following scattered across different nations this night. Favor has brought me honor. Favor has brought me glory. I have stood before politicians. I have stood before kings. I have stood before billionaires. I have drunk of their minds and their wisdom for free. Men have given me access, uncommon access, uncommon doors. It still happens all the time and it will not fail. There are people who send me text messages every time. Apostle, is there anything we can do for you? We want to do for you. I don't know how many people in this ministry send text messages every time. We want to wash your car. We want to do something. Somebody came early in the morning. I was sleeping and I had, it, it was like there was water splashing on my car. And I checked and I saw somebody washing my car by force i know if i ask you you won't agree i said what is this one honestly they even disturb it just washing the car with joy i said now if i drive this person favor favor it is real and it happens we have sown seeds of favor we meet the security people we honor them we bless them the, the Nigerian Union of Road Transport Workers. They come here, some, I'm sure many of them are outside here with the buses and they are waiting. 99% of them are not necessarily Christians. 
but they love koinonia and they will come and wait and watch the service and watch everything happening no complaint you know why because seeds of honor have been sown seeds of honor has been sown there are so many people we have scattered seeds of honor around look at cgc and the honor that they have shown this ministry i have never seen a ministry with men of god as humble and members that love jesus and truthfully like the members in this church cgc it is true it is true it is from my heart and it is true hallelujah some of the pastors are my fathers and literally those men can see me and just greet like this and i'm wise enough to know that whilst they are sowing seeds of honor i must sow seeds of honor every time people sow seeds of honor sow it back don't receive and wait you receive they have risen but you have remained where you are they will be calling you a superstar but it will be for a short time until they catch up with you somebody blesses you ah um pastor alpha bless you you reciprocate back that way both of you have risen we sow into the lives of mission agencies because we honor what they represent that's why souls continue to be saved here david ibio may the lord ask him to go and meet billy graham before he dies and david ibio may travel to america carried a very huge seed sowed into the life of billy graham and billy graham said a word of prayer for him he said he came back and preached a very simple message and about one third of the church came out for altar call he carried something whenever you see consistency there is something tonight you're about to receive an impartation this may be one of the most important days in your life some of you have never had a man of God impart anything upon you you have gone for anointing services some of you have all kinds of oils in your house oil does not anoint the oil is anointed to anoint my prayer is that there will be a replication of results this is my prayer and i don't i know that not everybody will believe it but brothers and sisters if you believe this god has given me honor god has given me honor honor beyond my level in life everything connected to me has flourished god has blessed me he has done all kinds of things while you are seated everyone i'd like you to pray and say lord this is the moment i'm ready to succeed i am tired of failing i am tired of hardship pray you have taken all my shame You've taken all my tears. You've taken all my cries. You've taken all disappointments. You've taken all my pain. You've taken all my shame. And you have made them be yours. My heart is to the King. Lord, you have taken all my sorrow.
verse 21. Please quickly. Make sure this oil touches you, touches any one of your child, sleeping or awake. Just make sure you make contact with this anointing tonight. Exodus 3, verse 21. For I will give Koinonia favor in the sight of the Egyptians. Listen, he said, For I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians, and it shall come to pass that when ye go, ye shall not go empty. Empty. It is favor that fills your account. It is favor that builds the house for you. I want to pray on this anointing. I like you to pray. While you are praying, Lord, every anointing for favor upon the life of this ministry, upon the life of your servant, must be reproduced verbatim in my life. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Be careful, put it. There is a heavy anointing on these oils. Heavy unction of the spirit. Heavy anointing. I want to pray. Now, this is how we're going to do it. Listen, there are there's this is the main ball. There's overflow one, there's overflow two, the road, there's ever overflow three. Now, the way we are going to do it, I'm going to I'm going to lay my hands as I speak now. There will be people standing. Please, it takes a lot of time. We will be fast. Many of you will not be able to stand. I don't know how we'll manage this. The moment this oil touches your head and you receive it, begin to prophesy. Command things to hear your voice and command them to produce for you. Don't just have the oil and sit down and you are watching. Are we together? And then we are going to round the Father. In the name of Jesus, you have anointed me, you have shown me favor. You have granted me access to mysteries. And Lord, I decree and declare, this oil is about coming upon the life of your people. In the name of Jesus, Lord, everyone, please help me with the mic. Every single person, who partakes of this impartation. Lord, may everything around them turn around. May everything around them turn around. Miracle jobs by this favor. Turn around miracles by this favor. In the name of Jesus. Let hopeless situations change. Let hopeless situations change. Let the barren receive twins, triplets. Lord, in one month, may men become millionaires. I say it again. In one month, may people who don't have anything in their pocket now, let it be a testimony that will shock everyone. 
may businesses arise from nowhere let there be people here that will start paying the school fees of several children because of how blessed they will be I decree and declare while this is an oil of favor I call it the oil of judgment as this oil comes on your head I declare that because of what is on your head someone must be laid to rest to let you go listen uncompleted projects whether academics whether whatever as this oil comes the grace for completion comes with it hear me anyone here struggling financially except it is not the hand of God that is upon my life I decree and declare that as this oil comes upon you in ways that even you you cannot explain God will change your stories and wipe your tears I'm going to count one to ten listen everyone heard me loud and clear overflow outside overflow along the road as I'm speaking to you the Holy Ghost is probing you those of you standing on the fence there I see you and the Lord is speaking to you online probably you are listening now or following from another nation of the world and you are saying but I'm far distance is no barrier it doesn't matter you are still on earth everyone on earth will be judged whether you are in London whether you are wherever I'm going to make this altar call now I want you to run like there's fire on the mountain and come to Jesus I know you will be healed young and old I don't care how long you have been you are saying Lord I'm tired of living my life the way I want I want to hand it genuinely inside outside start running one to ten one genuinely run like there's fire on the mountain two Three. So keep coming. Don't say there's no space. Even if you have to line up outside, no problem. This is your salvation with God greater than any miracle tonight. Just find somewhere to stand. If the place is full, keep lining up there, right outside. Five. Someone is still thinking about it and saying, Apostle, I'm a nice person. I've never done anything wrong. It's just that I've not declared Jesus. Join them. By the self-righteousness of no man can he be saved. You didn't do anything wrong. But that very nature of darkness is resident upon you. All of you who are standing here, please don't look at anyone. Lift your voice in one minute and begin to talk to Jesus. Everyone who is standing, stretch right outside and those online. Talk to Jesus right now. And say, Jesus, I come to you. I come to you pray talk to him and everyone seated I expect you to be praying for someone's salvation you know everybody around you cannot be saved there is somebody somewhere still hardened towards the things of God lift your voice and cry to Jesus Lord I'm saved but my father is not saved he's on his way to hellfire and I know it my mother is not saved I know today that if the trumpet sounds they are going to hell for sure I know my sister is not saved my husband is not saved my wife is not saved my colleague in office is not saved Lord I know that pastor is not saved he has a church but is not saved pray cry your heart to Jesus he is here much miracle service you are meeting with the Savior he wants to reveal himself first as Savior before deliverer before healer
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All of you standing stretched to the outside, please look at me. I see you, some of you are crying sincerely from your heart. Listen. There is no man who has the power and authority to condemn you, young and old. I don't care what you have done. I don't care how your life is. We are all products of his mercy and grace. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Don't let any man point an accusing finger, but then you cannot remain where you are. There are people standing here and say, man of God, if you will lead me to pray, I will, I will love it. I've been praying for an opportunity like this, but there are powers always keeping me. Wherever you are, inside, outside, don't mind who is looking at you. Lift your right hand to heaven and you are going to say this prayer after me. Please, it is not a poem. It is a genuine, genuine prayer, meaning from the depth of your heart. It says, I am not ashamed of the gospel. Why? For it is the power of God unto salvation. The Lord wants to give you a new beginning. I know you came to be healed, but he wants to take over your destiny. With your hands lifted to Jesus, who is here, not in heaven, right here in this place. Say after me, passionately and sincerely. Say, Lord Jesus, I love you with all my heart. This night, I have heard your word. And I make up my mind that from tonight and for the rest of my days, I will live for you. I will serve you without shame, without fear, without going back. This night, I hand over my life to you. Say it again. I hand over my life to you. Be my Lord, be my Savior. I declare that the power of sin, of Satan, of the flesh is broken. Every association that is not of God, I am separated from them this night. I declare that the joy of salvation and the peace and a new beginning is mine from today i am a child of god and i will live for him forever hallelujah keep your hands lifted jesus look at the ones you died for when you hung upon that cross you saw them and today we are glad to present them to you this is why you put this meeting together. We lift them up as trophies. Worthy trophies for your blood. Worthy trophies for your death. And Lord, I decree and declare that this once you have brought tonight, none will be lost. I speak over your life. The joy of salvation that very few people know about. May it be your inheritance today. I declare that the peace that surpasses all understanding let it be yours today i declare that every guilt the devil uses against you every accusation we roll it away right now in the name of jesus i declare your sins forgiven by the mercies of god i declare that you have a new beginning with god you are empowered by the spirit to live a victorious life in the name of jesus christ amen and amen let's appreciate them keep standing everyone i'll give you some instructions now now there are so many of you probably hundreds of you this is what i want you to do um protocol please help coordinate let's do it this way those of you who are in the second overflow the overflow right from the door that leads to the road as you go out please let's have some of the ushers you stand so they can attend to you there what will happen is they are going to have your details i know you are all so many but we want your details we have a system to follow you up and to make sure you are grounded in god that's number one that's the first instruction so those outside those here at the overflow and those inside you may not need to go out just wait where you are and someone will come to attend to you please i hope the relevant departments are listening so that we can 
respond to them very quickly. We have five, ten minutes for this because I'll start praying for the sick now. Praise the Lord. Now, the second instruction I want to give all of you is this. The Bible says, they that be planted in the house of God. It says they shall flourish. It is important not only for you to just get born again, but to be planted in the house of God. Instruction number three is we have a system of spiritual growth here in Koinonia. It's a very large house. So what we do is that anyone who gets born again, automatically we transfer them to our prayer department for one month. Whether or not you will continue as a member in the prayer department, the prayer department meets Tuesdays 4 p.m. just at the church uh, when you walk from this road right down Rema Chapel. More information will be communicated to you. And so we usually have all um, new converts to be part of the prayer department there you get to be filled with the holy spirit and you have seasons of prayer to build your spirit and it helps you to cultivate a culture of the word and also to have a kingdom community that supports your spiritual growth all these things are very important for your growth i don't want you to waste this experience praise the lord i bless you in the name of jesus and shortly the lord is going to be turning your life around in greater dimensions so let's do this very quickly appreciate them as they go just guide them whether or not you belong to any department you're a member of koinonia you see any of them moving just guide them as they go out quickly let's honor them koinonia as they do so is that the best you can do hallelujah Please coordinate them, coordinate them. Let's just give them some room so that they can go out and then we will shake off every power of darkness roaming around anybody's life. I never see anyone like you. I never see anyone like you. Hey, I never see anyone like you. Where's Sam? Help me. I never see anyone like you. 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 I never see anyone. I never see anyone. I never see anyone. I never see anyone. everyone stand up let's pray some prayers before let's pray some prayers while they are working on the people everyone say after me in the name of Jesus please say be serious in the name of Jesus father tonight visit me this is my destiny Give me strange results. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Visit me. In the name of Jesus, visit me. Step into my destiny. Step into my destiny. Step into my destiny. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Shout it again in the name of Jesus. Every long standing issue in my life. And my destiny I declare that you must give way tonight lift your voice and begin to pray hey! 
long-standing challenges. Are you praying tonight? Long-standing issues. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please, if you can pair yourselves into two and pray this prayer. If you are holding a child or you are doing something, that's all right. Otherwise, find somebody, a serious neighbor, hold a hand. I want you to agree. Say in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that the door for the next level of my life and that of my neighbor must be open now. Lift your voice and pray. Agree. If any two shall agree, as touching. Believe in what you are saying. You are opening doors. Pray, pray. Rata sona rata kene bala bala shaba bala bala bala. Rata 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 shaba bala bala bala. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are still holding your hands. Say in the name of Jesus. Father. Tonight. Take away shame. Take away mockery. From my life. My family. And my neighbor. Lift your voice and pray seriously. Roll away the reproach. Roll away the reproach of mockery. Roll away the reproach of shame. Roll away the reproach. Pray. Roll away the reproach. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. Father, expose every force, every yoke, every spirit behind the tragedies in my life, in my destiny, and my family. Expose them tonight. Lift your voice and pray. For the light shines in darkness. Pray for the light shines in darkness. Let your light shine, O God. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Lord, let your anointing, let your unction locate me tonight and turn my life around. Lift your voice and pray that the power of God must locate me. Change my destiny. Let your power pray. One encounter with the anointing of the Holy Ghost can wipe your tears, my brother, my sister. Pray. 
Light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, like a candle. Light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, like a candle. Light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, like menorah. Light me, Lord. Listen, listen to me. I will just give you an instruction. Just help those under the anointing, but listen to me carefully, please, everyone. Do you know the reason why we minister deliverance? Listen, listen carefully. You have to understand this. The reason why we minister deliverance, you don't spend your whole life going through deliverance. However, there are lives come at you when a spirit listen carefully when a spirit latches onto your life and destiny brothers and sisters let me tell you i don't care what you do physically remember spiritual intelligence you can be doing the right physical things but the presence of a spirit representing an embargo representing a covenant an authorization for your doom will keep you down there and you find out that your life will never open up when people gather like this hear me they come with prayer requests they come with problems but you see behind those problems are spirits are we together now the spirits that are responsible for lack of favor the spirits that are responsible for a hard life the spirits that are responsible for infirmity all kinds of cases you know one of our dear people here in the ministry i prayed over the father's picture i've seen those kinds of cases on television and all of that but you could look at the leg and see the bone the bone the flesh had eaten to a point that you could see the bone what happened to the man he went to bed in the night brothers and sisters i think somebody did something for him in a dream and he woke up physically and his legs started eating up the bible says the whole world lieth in wickedness you want to move forward but there is an embargo the solution is not counseling you need an encounter with power everybody say power listen the power of the holy spirit is not a negotiator it's an enforcer when the power of god comes it does not ask you whether you want to be free your assignment is to be open till it reaches you when it comes it scatters anything that does not look like god lift your hands everyone just lift your hands and be silent i'll pray for you now the spirit of god is upon me lift your hands everyone there are people here right now I want you to bring there the first sets of people who will come out ushers grace for you and protocol i know you have a lot of work today because there's such a crowd right to the road but i want to pray everyone please lift your hands the lord is speaking to me there are people right now in your silence 
hold on maybe just this the power of God will begin to come upon you what is happening right now before we pray for the sick is massive deliverance that deliverance is equal to breakthrough equal to new levels but lift your hands there are people here who are under strong yokes of delay and the Lord gives me an instruction we will just lift our hands and be silent that's all the instruction and inside and outside the Spirit of God will begin to locate them are we together when that happens then we'll take it off from there that's the first thing God wants to do tonight just lift your hands everyone thank you Jesus the Lord is asking me to stretch my hands and there are people and families and those following on online except you are not under the influence of the spirit of delay that spirit must leave you are we together so keep your hands lifted thank you Jesus Lord wherever they are right now I stretch my hands according to the instructions you have given me inside and outside right now I see the anointing of the spirit already falling over the spirit of delay keep your hands lifted Shalakataya. bring them out outside there just the angels of the Lord are walking I'm seeing like smoke just moving across lines line by line inside and outside when it comes to you when you are under that influence that's the end of it right now I command it the word of the Lord is upon this prophecy in the name of Jesus no instruments don't play anything outside there is massive deliverance happening separation from delays separation from delays bring them out thank you jesus delays you want to move forward but the spirit ties you down it's over right now no you can't dodge it you are under an atmosphere there is an influence the influence of the spirit line by line the holy ghost is moving row by row there is no faking it line by line Lord every row every line every individual let no one in this category escape it for the sake of your mercy and your grace no matter where you are inside and outside online don't worry the Spirit of God is moving one by one it must catch up with you the word of the Lord is upon it bring them out young old destinies that have been delayed tonight there is serious grace for deliverance those of you lifting up your hands be sensitive be sensitive we're in a prophetic atmosphere right now malata sadaba secretes kebarite shobra hasaya bring them i see people outside kai my god 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 many people many people many people many people there's someone you are following from kenya you are watching from a laptop the anointing your hands are shaking the spirit of the lord is upon you judging every darkness tonight you will be located by God you prayed it you must be free please help the ushers if there are too if there are too few protocol join them different departments help them the Lord really wants to set people free it's a year of triumph don't think these people are just coming out for show they represent breakthroughs these are the people who God wants to give testimonies darkness raging over the lives of people they came from different places how will god leave them that way right now all of you in front here i decree and declare to those spirits at the count of three let them go you know my voice one two three go 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 out of their lives now out now i command you by the influence of the spirit i decree and declare let their destinies go delay broken go now 
Hallelujah. Now lift your hands. My God, you'll be surprised at what will happen now. Everyone say after me. In the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. The grace for open doors right now break every chain in my life keep your hands lifted watch it happen now that's the instruction god gave me that grace breaking chains now i'm speaking across the congregation i have been seeing this for weeks padlocks opening in the realm of the spirit that's what the lord is showing me padlocks opening 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 right now I open them I'm under the shadow of yours Your influence is all over me I'm under the shadow of yours your influence is all over me I'm under the shadow Your influence is all over me Oh, Lift your hands Lift your hands Fire is coming on 32 people and this fire that is coming upon them is to break family altars. I hear family altars right now, oh God, in the name of Jesus. One, two, three. I set those altars now on fire. Right now, 32 people. I see in the realm of the spirit. I command it right now. I command it. Everyone on this ground under the influence of any altar now be free now help them please help that lady be free now right now be free now be free now Your influence is all over me. I'm under the shadow of your own. Everyone lift your hands. Say this after me in the name of Jesus. Please say it seriously. Say in the name of Jesus. Any spirit that has had access to my life and is causing destruction hear the word of the lord as i shout the name jesus i command you to live my life at the count of three shout jesus there will be an exiting of many strange spirits one two three shouting i command spirits you go now you go now you go now you go now inside and outside any spirit resident within any man's life any woman's life causing pain as I pray for grace for you in Jesus name because what I see now is not a nice scene the Lord is asking me that we shout Jesus there are people who are going to vomit physical things 
that's why i said it's a messy scene I, I apologize we're very neat and organized people inside and outside but in the name of jesus right now any stranger in your body at the count of three must go out now one two three i command every stranger go now every poison every devil causing sicknesses every fibroid every devil every enchantment hallelujah the lord is showing me a vision of a lady if you're here i want you to come out i'm seeing your family doing something like a sacrifice and they are giving somebody everybody a substance like a drink something to take they gave everybody including you and you took it where is that person please if you're here i want you to come out quickly it's a is a highly diabolic thing they gave everybody where are you come your deliverance comes now i'm under the shadow of your wings help me your influence is all upon me Let's have another mic, please. Hold on. Stand up, my dear. Is this the lady? Two of them? Stand up. Where are you from? Look at me. Huh? Kogi State. What happened to you? Hold on. I combated. Hold on. I'm looking at you, Kai. This thing. You entered a covenant. Huh? Yes. With who? I don't know my mother i don't know they she brought somebody and you people entered the covenant and they gave you something hold my hands shout jesus, jesus. i command that covenant jesus. that demonic thing tying your life in this miracle service it lives now in the name of jesus you too where are you from i'm from kogi state you are from kogi state the same thing hold my hands look at me I command that devil to leave you now. Whatever yoke, please don't come out if I don't call your case. Are you part of them, Mr. Man? Young man, you're part of them. In the name of Jesus, I set you free. Bring the, you, you two. Come, make sure that so that we don't get the place rowdy. Be delivered now. Help her. Out. Be free now. Out. I'm interested in this lady. Please stand up, my dear, if you can. This lady's whole family is in bondage. Whole family. The entire family. Nothing is working in your family. The Lord wants to deliver you right now. Hold my hands. I command that spirit. Your time is up. Leave this family now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I break the yoke over your life now. Out! Now! There is a lady you have been coughing blood where are you you are coughing literally and blood is coming out there is a lady like that please where are you let's hurry up we have a lot to do this night the lord is asking me to minister to a lady that coughs and then blood you cough blood who is that inside outside except you are under the anointing please come out quickly i want to pray for that person now where are you how long hold on just just keep up where's the mic how long you you are an usher you how long three weeks eh? three weeks. for three weeks you've been caught lay your hand on your chest you too lay your hands on your chest you too ah huh? your what hold on please guys hold on yours is what the substance you spoke about what substance lift your hands lift your hands lift both of them i'm seeing an angel pouring something on your hand your hand will start shaking 
and that the lord is bringing you strange deliverance it will start from your hands down to your body i place the word of god upon your life right now in the name of jesus christ both of you look at me both of you cough out blood in the name of jesus i lay my hands upon you it ends now in the name of jesus out right now there are spirits responsible for this kite ta 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 do you know what i just saw the lord opened my eyes and i saw like a cage and in the cage i saw snakes that's all i'm seeing that's all i'm seeing lift your hands everybody the lord is just asking me to wave my hands over the congregation there are people who represent that oppression it will leave now the lord is asking me to wave my hands lord as you have said i see snakes in cages whose destiny is that right now whose destiny is that i wave my hands in the name of jesus please release them for your glory release them now help them please jesus christ inside outside be out of that cage now i see snakes serpents some of you see them in your dreams they must go now they are leaving you now now they are leaving you now i command liberty 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 hallelujah i'm hearing a name jane jane like j-a-n-e jane 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 i'm also hearing another name victory is it victory like victory victory please don't come out if that's not your name what's your name jane your name is victory where are you from delta state delta state i have to pray for you your family is being seriously oppressed why are you people here you are all jane jane your name is victory i want to pray for you kaza chat kaza chat is it kaza chat who is that kaza chat i'm hearing that name that's that's like a kaduna name kaza chat please who is that the breakthrough of your family has come kaza chat is it i don't know why god is going to kaduna now nom is it nom shoe or nom shoe or something like that i don't know if there's a name like that nom nom shoe or something like that nom something. please if that is your name you are why are they here i call their names i'm going to lay hands on you except for you i don't even know why the rest of you are but please i want you to believe the moment I lay my hands on you, something will happen. The Lord is saying I should start with you. Lord, open her door now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hold my hands. Reproach leaves your life now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Reproach leaves your life now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Reproach leaves your life now. Reproach lives your life now. Hold my hands. Call your parents and tell them the Lord is giving them breakthrough. Your family, your entire family, Delta State, breakthrough right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Hold on. The serious witchcraft over your life. Hold my hands, Lord. The Lord is asking me to walk with you. This is how your destiny is opening up. That's what the Lord is asking me to do. Walk with you. To walk with you. Something is happening. It's a prophetic act. You will not help her to walk with you. Opens in the name of Jesus. Your destiny opens up now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your hands. This girl, lift your hands where you are. I'm seeing wind around you. And the Lord is that wind is going anti-clockwise anti-clockwise and the lord said his restoration i stretch my hands upon you right now i release that grace for restoration 
restoration there are seven other people who will tap from this anointing this same anointing right now seven seven right now the anointing for restoration is coming upon them receive it right now wherever you are Zabata kata la kata frate kese brende gatai le kate pras kata baratu shubre diara Hallelujah I'm seeing one mama outside It's like you came here with your daughter or something I'm seeing a woman sit down with her daughter outside Now that's all I'm giving about you Please, if you can find that woman and if you understand what I've said, I want you to run and come. I want to pray for the sick now, but God is delivering people. God is delivering people. Seth. Seth. Who is Seth? S-E-T-H. S-E-T-H. Your name is Seth. 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 The Lord is stepping into his life right now. Seth. Is there someone with that name? Seth. Have you found the mama I'm talking about? Don't worry, let them come. Let them come. Doesn't matter. With your daughter. Mama. Hi. There is the spirit of death on your family. I'm going to pray for you. Don't be afraid. I'm not a prophet of doom. You came from where, Mama? I came from Edo State. From Edo State? Yes, but I'm living with Sasa. You live in Wusasa? Yes. But you came from Edo State. Yes. I must pray for you. There, why is he here? Who is this gentleman? Seth. You too? You are an usher? Okay. I, this is not the set I'm seeing. No, I will pray for you, but I'm seeing someone else. Eh? Please don't be embarrassed. I want to pray for somebody now, huh? Because I'm seeing an accident killing you, and you took what's the name of this thing they take? Wee wee, and you were high. You were about to cross the road, and then I'm seeing a truck with the name Angote on it, just running and killing you. There is somebody here you smoke please don't be there's nothing to be embarrassed about it's not like you are not a serious person but this thing you started taking it from when you were small and it's destroying your life you want to be free but you can't leave it please don't be ashamed come out now quickly please if you are still thinking about it remain on your seat some you have to be free now come out i'm seeing one you wore jeans dress like your shirt I don't know if it's your shirt, it's jeans. Who is that? No, no. There, there's another. Come out. I will pray for you. This, this is not the only guy. Just keep them here. I will pray for him. I'm seeing another person outside. The second overflow. You are standing on the road. The Spirit of God is speaking to you. Speaking to you. This thing they roll and they smoke. And then you even i'm seeing you swallowing a drug i don't know what drug is that please come out come out clap for them as they come out join them quickly and come whether i mention your case or not you are involved in any kind of liquor and addiction india hem whatever forward march come here your salvation come sir please appreciate them clap for them some of them are not bad people it's a spirit don't be ashamed Please usher uh, direct them so that they come here. I'm seeing up to five ladies in this group. Up to five ladies. Come. Don't be ashamed. Don't let anyone laugh at you. Please, this is a miracle service. Join them. We oui, we oui. codeine. Whatever it is, join them. Whether you know the name of what you are smoking or swallowing or not, come and join them. Please quickly, that addiction must be broken now. Who can stand against the Lord? No one can. No one will. Keep coming. The devil is a liar. Who can stand against our King? No one can.
hallelujah i'm seeing a very small boy very small boy very small boy who is supposed to join them young man please hold on please if the parents of the boy are here don't flog him please this is a very small boy you will not even know that this boy is wise to smoke this thing he saw an elderly person smoking it come out there is a small boy here i know what drag him out come where is the boy come out please gentlemen i'm going to pray for you don't worry you are not bad people i'm seeing a number of ladies up to five ladies they are refusing to come out there's nothing to be embarrassed jesus christ wants to set you free this is a miracle service it's not like you have evil people that's not what we're saying it's a spirit you don't stop by counseling mama there is a spirit of death over your family and i will pray for you i will pray for you in the name of jesus who is this your daughter what's your name my dear Is this mic working? Can you add Lillian, the voice? Lillian. Lillian, what do you want God to do for you? I want God to heal you. What's wrong with you? I've been having problems with my tongue. No. 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 You had a dream. Huh? You saw a snake. You can't even remember it. And from that day, you started having serious problems with your stomach. Huh? What's wrong with you? I've, I've, I've got to test. And, 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 and they told me that it's a, a liver problem. Liver problem. Because I look at you and you would think you are pregnant. But you are not pregnant. Your stomach is swelling up. Mama, is that true? How long has it been? It's out of three years now. Look at, look at, look at evil and wickedness. Are you married? Because you see now assuming a brother has been trusting god to marry this sister do you think the brother will marry her please help me do you think he will marry her you look at her now and you think she's five or six months pregnant but she's not pregnant Kai. there is a lady who has refused to come out the power of god is going to come upon her outside you are supposed to be part of those who will be delivered here i'm seeing the angel of the lord outside that lady you were a sincere lady but i, I don't know if it's um, another lady i don't want to say what i'm seeing not to embarrass you because the, what you were introduced to is not only smoking this there are other things that i see that i may not be able to talk about i'm, I'm asking you to come out god wants you to be free for the sake of your family the power of god is going to come upon you outside outside to be free of this thing my dear look at me this is koinonia the lord is going to set you free you believe in miracles mama you believe in miracles yes, i have to pray for you money runs away from you huh madam i will pray for you mama yeah okay do you hear how sir okay this is your daughter please be comfortable whatever language you can speak there is an interpreter here nobody says you must be able to speak english or whatever any language please if i call you here or you stand here for healing don't be under any pressure to say you must whatever language is comfortable speak it if i don't understand we'll find somebody to interpret please don't put yourself under pressure and say no we are excellent people but we are not fools we can't put anyone under pressure hallelujah mommy I want to pray for you because I'm seeing the Lord bringing restoration to your life. This is what I am seeing. And the Lord is asking me to pray for you. Can I pray for you, ma'am? I will pray for you. Ah. I have to pray. I'm seeing not you, but I'm seeing somebody close to you having an accident, traveling to Abuja. And having an accident we have to pray i'm not saying it will happen once god reveals it is broken lord jesus stretch your hands and let's pray for this mommy you don't have to know her please stretch your hands and pray lord we avert death we avert death now in the name of jesus christ we avert death by the power of the holy ghost mama
is there a name like Gracilda? Is it Gracilda or Gracilda? Gracilda or Gracilda, something like that. Gracilda, Gracilda, something like that. If that sounds like your name, I'm sorry if I don't mention it well. The Lord kept mentioning it in my ears. Gracilda or Gracilda, something like that. If that is your name, please come out. Eh? Jacinta. No. But come. Where are you coming from? Zaria. Zaria. I have to pray for you. There's a gentleman who will destroy you. Be free now from every influence. Hold my hand. Anybody that is not designed by God, I separate you and him forever. Say amen. In Jesus' name. Gracilda. Gracilda. I'm hearing Gracilda. Something Gilda. Please. If it's not you, no problem. But that's what I'm hearing. Mama, let's pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. New beginning for you. Hold up, please. In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, lay your hands on your stomach. Kai. Lord Jesus, you gathered people here tonight to set them free. I cause the spirit responsible for this. I decree and declare that this stomach will shrink. Every devil will go away in the name of Jesus Christ. If you agree with me, say amen. amen. Look at me and you will never be barren in your life. Say amen. There are two ladies, you are inside here. There is an embargo of barrenness on your family. Fire is coming on those two ladies now to break that embargo. You don't even know. It's in your family. It may not be in your life. But I'm seeing it right now. The angel of the Lord is locating two ladies right now. And is breaking that embargo. Thank you, Father. I put the word of God upon this prophetic word. That embargo is broken right now right now right now two ladies two ladies there's no reason why you should come here and your life should be the same mama i will pray for you this is your daughter do you know that god is going to use this girl god will use your daughter for his glory hold my hands my dear there's small girl now but god will use you in the name of jesus christ I anoint you mama I decree and declare let hardship live your life in the name of Jesus Christ let hardship live your life in the name of Jesus hold on I'm seeing a wind and the Lord is asking me to follow it this is somebody's deliverance here this is somebody's deliverance here this is somebody's deliverance here this is somebody's deliverance the power of God is coming upon a few people as I'm walking across this place this is somebody's deliverance this is somebody's deliverance Lord set them free right now right now right now I'm seeing something rolling around this row this row this row this row shala sobaria taska bandabria there's no hiding there's no hiding someone in this row someone in this row someone in this row hardship over your family is being broken right now i'm stretching my hands this row right there father locate that person right now right now right now right now right now in the name of jesus christ Mama, come. I want you to rejoice. Look at me. The Lord, hold on. The Lord is saying, I should tell you that where you have been crying, you will begin to laugh. You have been crying for 30 years, and the Lord is saying, Your breakthrough has come. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Please shoot for me. Come, madam. Hold my hands. The Lord is there and should tell you it's your season of laughter. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your season of laughter. Your season of laughter. Look at me. Lose her hands now. Lose her hands now. Lose her hands now. 
in the name of Jesus Christ let her hands be loose your hands are tied I lose your hands in the realm of the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ open doors open doors open doors open doors open doors that's what the Lord is saying open doors the Lord has said you have waited too long it's time for the door of your destiny to be open open doors come there is a spirit in your life that makes bad boys look for you hold my hands leave her now out out when bad boys see you they can't leave you as they are passing they see you that spirit calls them back i don't know who this girl is you are a small girl but the things you know are what you have done out now in the name of jesus you have gone to places you should not go you have you have the phone numbers of people that if we know now i'm not saying you're a bad girl it's a spirit including married men they will be minding their business that spirit will call them to you i command that devil to leave you now leave you now in the name of jesus christ i want us to pray for this gentleman before we pray for the sick you see let me tell you something addiction is a very wicked spirit don't look at them especially our dear sisters my brother what happened to you eh? gone short gone short yes, who shot you i'm a soldier i was shot by my colleague you are meduguri yes sir no he wanted to kill you eh? yes. but he didn't kill you he was directed to kill you Hi. you are a soldier how long has this been it's going to seven months now seven months which where did they shoot your legs and you can't walk with it look at me you believe in miracles lift your crutch lift it lift it come come lift your legs go ahead you're a soldier lift your legs look at this come on koinonia look at this lift your crutch up look at this look at this Look at this. Walk as fast as you can. Don't be afraid. Turn around. Turn around. Come. Because your wound is not healing. There is a wound, but there is not healing. From today, I pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord who has perfected this leg will also perfect you. Where are you now? You are in Zaria. You are still in the force yes you are still in the force yes, huh? yes sir i want to pray for you do you believe god can favor yes sir i have to pray for you god is going to connect you with a senior person and he will lift you huh? look at me brothers and sisters i want to break this addiction from your life now are we together you are very sincere people some of you were initiated into this thing by bad friends some of you were initiated into these things by spirit i'm going to lay my hands on you while the congregation whether your child is here or not whether your brother is here or not as you are praying you are sowing a seed for your own home are you hearing what i'm saying stretch your hands don't look at anybody's face and run your mouth on any it's none of your business Koinonia is, a, is like a hospital. Stretch your hands. I will lay my hands on every one of them. Please, all of you should pray. I want to break addiction from your life. Don't feel condemned. Jesus will help you. It must be broken right now. Broken right now. Broken right now. Any kind of addiction. Out, out, now, out, out. In the name of Jesus, out. Look at this guy, out. Break from his life now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, be set free. Be set free. As soon as I lay my hands on you, continue praying. Be set free. Addiction, break! 
break in the name of Jesus. Hold my hands, darling. No addiction for liquor. No addiction for drugs. Something is leaving you. I'm seeing something like an arrow coming out of your head. Out of her life now. In the name of Jesus, I break that addiction. Ah. Hey, Jimmy, come. The Lord is saying you should pray for this guy. He will pray for you. This guy needs serious prayer. Just lay your hands on him. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Out! Out! Now! I command that devil. This is somebody that loves God, but this addiction must be broken right now. I break it right now. I break it right now. Hold my hands. You are a nice lady, but we have to break this thing. Lord, please, for your mercy, let it be broken in her life. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Hallelujah. The Lord is asking me to minister to somebody. I'm seeing a very interesting case. You love God. Please don't be ashamed. There is a particular pain reliever you are addicted to. Who is that person? I want to pray for you now. Whether you are sick or not. Come and stand here. Particular pain reliever. You can't help it. You can wake up 1 a.m. in the night and swallow it. It's a spirit. Pain reliever. I'm not saying you are sick and they gave you in the hospital. God is visiting addictions this night. Quickly, come. Don't sit back and say, I'm all right. Allow God set you free. Let them come. Look at this. Pain. I don't know what it is, but I hear my spirit pain reliever. Whether you are sick, whether you are fine, the urge will hook you and you have to go and get it. If you, you can prefer to take it than to eat food, it must go right now. That's why God put this meeting to help people. There's one of you, fire is coming on you now. After that fire comes on you, then I'll pray for the rest. That's the instruction God is giving me. One of you, fire, literal fire is coming upon you from heaven as i lay my hands upon you that addiction breaks right now stretch your hands and pray for them don't feel embarrassed broken now broken now broken now in the name of jesus addiction broken now broken now by the power of the holy ghost broken now broken right now by the power of the holy ghost broken now broken now if you have for prayers just move them forward broken now in the name of jesus broken now in the name of jesus broken now in the name of jesus it's broken now in the name of jesus broken in the name of jesus place your hand on your stomach God is not only setting you free, he's setting you free from something else. Let her go now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Addiction broken now. Addiction broken now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Addiction is broken now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Broken now. Hold my hands. Let her go in the name of Jesus Christ. There is a spirit that wants to destroy your life. I command now, there's no hiding place for you. By the power of the Holy Spirit, you must be set free. You are standing in for somebody, no problem. In the name of Jesus Christ. Supernatural freedom. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, 
praise the Lord. Please accept you are nursing a child or doing something. Let's all rise. Those outside, they are still praying for you, no problem. All other people, please stand up. Rise up. I want us to pray. If you are yet to submit your prayer request, please do it quickly. The Bible says, Unto him that answers prayers shall all flesh come. In one minute, God can turn your life around. Everyone stretch your hands here and pray. I'm going to lay hands on the request. Pray passionately from the depth of your heart. Lord, I will not have to write this again. Pray. I've written it. The Bible says after two days, please, if there are still people coming, bring it quickly. It says after two days, he will revive us and on the third day, he will raise us up. Online, here, please pray. I'm laying my hands on this request and we're asking the God of heaven, visit men and women. Are you praying now? Pray. Shalakata pratakato sapretiash. In the next one minute, I'd like you to pray, blast in tongues, and say, Lord, this is the last of the prayer request that I'm having to write concerning this issue. Hallelujah. Agree with me with a loud amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare over every request gathered from this nation and from the nations of the earth online and here in our local environment Jesus I present to you impossible situations according to men and I ask you turn it around now turn it around now Turn it around now. Let every breakthrough request here be turned into a testimony now. Every case here said by men to be impossible. We, we collide that case with the power of God and we produce testimonies now. Whoever must die for this prayer to be answered dies now. Whoever must live for this prayer to be answered lives now. Whoever must rise for this prayer to be answered rises now. Whoever must go down for this prayer to be answered goes down now. Whoever must hear God for this prayer to be answered, hears God now. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, may your people not have to write this again. Agree with me, may your people not have to write this again. Lord, I pray that before miracle service april let every request here be turned into a testimony may the fire and the anointing of the holy ghost that makes all the difference let it rest on this request the same way fire fell from heaven to consume the sacrifice of Elijah may fire fall on this now it has been prayed for you will not write it again it has been prayed for you will not write it again in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah please lift up your hands everyone hallelujah listen we're in a very strange season 
of the manifestation first of the spirit of revelation listen carefully there is a very spectacular outpouring god wants to upgrade the work of his people to access the mysteries of the kingdom not just to know him god wants to equip us with mysteries are we together number two there is a strange outpouring of the supernatural power of god for performance for performance not just that you had god and it never happens not just that you speak and it never happens number three this is personal to us as a family of faith god has declared that is our year of triumph i want you to believe this word oh believe it otherwise you will sit down and you will watch people rise from nothing and then you will keep clapping i'd like you to insist we still have a few minutes for this meeting to be done tonight insist that if you have never stood upon this altar to testify make up your mind and say no god i must stand before your people are you hearing what i'm saying as i speak over your life now among the many things i want to speak right now i want to activate upon your life the grace and the unction for performance many of you may not know what this anointing is listen carefully lift your hands he said who has ever heard that a city was built in one day but as soon as zion travels there is a grace that is coming upon the people of god hear me for performance he said blessed is she that believes for unto her not unto them mm -mm, mm -mm. this is not a corporate thing unto her there shall be there are many things god has said that has not come to pass there is a grace that engenders performance i prophesy to you now in the name of the lord god who called me and sent me may that unction that will make results appear speedily let it come upon you like fire now let it come upon you like fire now receive it now is yours receive it now is yours receive it now is yours performance 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 shake it la bata la prete get a soto ropa shiata grace for performance everything hanging in the realm of the spirit that is already your portion released by god i decree within the next 30 days it appears physically now I prophesy the spirit of the lord is upon me i speak within the next 30 days it manifests in the name of jesus whatever has slowed down your pace in life so that you are not moving at the pace designed by god i put fire upon your feet and i command speed now i put fire upon your feet i command strength speed strength speed strength speed anything that has not yet worked in your life i don't know why but i'm prophesying i'm speaking to it start working now many of you don't understand what i'm doing to you start working now i don't know what projects you are currently on that has refused to produce i force it to bear fruit now I force it to bear fruit now. Hear me. 
the lord spoke to my spirit and told me that the month of april for koinonia you may not believe it but for koinonia and everyone connected to this grace the lord said we will see a strange dimension of wealth and manifestation write this down brothers and sisters is the word of the lord i think i was telling you yesterday that the lord told me this you will see people that know nothing about money rise in a way that they themselves are asking what happened listen except the lord has not sent me i declare you must be part of the testifiers don't say i'm too small receive it don't be foolish in the name of jesus you must be a participant listen i tell you brothers and sisters please write this down you will see a strange rising rising write this down you will say i said it nothing to some i mean mysteriously people will have to ask what is happening it is a grace there is a grace that makes it happen i'm not talking of business i'm talking about the suffering word of god upon the life of a man may it be your portion in the name of jesus i decree upon you the kind of favor that will make even your enemies to say there is god in your life i release that dimension of favor now listen you can't rise in this kingdom without the favor of god you will struggle for nothing please hear me i prophesy it again whoever is lacking favor on his life i decree from this night carry favor inside outside everywhere online carry favor let me prophesy over finances whatever makes money run away from you don't say i'm talking about money you need it for what is coming in ahead whatever makes finances run from you whatever dug a hole in your life that makes you suffer in misery and penury i turn it around now i turn it around now I pray for every student here the kind of results you have never seen I release it to you now I release it by the Spirit I release it from the Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ anyone due for promotion here or anyone's family member rightfully due for promotion and either because of religious sentiments or because of ethno tribal sentiments they have trampled upon you i decree and declare may the angel of god responsible for lifting visit your destiny and ensure that your promotion must manifest I pray for your loved ones. I pray for you. Whoever is called jobless here, yeah, before next miracle service, get something doing now. I prophesy it again. Whoever is called jobless before next miracle service, I don't know how it will happen, but get a good job. There are people here trusting God for direction. Very clear direction for the next level of their lives. Could be maritally, could be geographic location, whatever it is. Hear God in this season like never before. 
hear God in this season like never before. Lift your hands. I release upon you the grace for supernatural miracles. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Sapoto so brigadier. Receive it right now. From tonight I declare whoever you speak over and command their destinies to open may my God honor it I said may my God honor it whoever fights you goes down immediately whoever fights you goes down immediately hear me Whoever mocks your passion for God goes down immediately. Whoever has said over his dead body for you to rise, may his prayer be answered. Whoever has said over his dead body for you to rise, in Koinonia tonight, may their prayers be answered. Every embargo of bad luck upon your face that makes your helpers look at you and turn aside I tear that fail completely in the name of Jesus favor like never before testimonies like never before koinonia is the place of the anointing koinonia is the place of unction I pray for you a new a fresh grace and anointing let it rest upon you like the dew of heaven begin to flow very effortlessly in the gifts of the spirit I'm praying it again begin to flow very effortlessly in the gifts of the spirit begin to flow effortlessly in the gifts of the spirit The mantle of honor that God has put upon my life, God has put upon this ministry. You are part of this vision, you are under this grace. There's no reason why it should not work in your life. I command it to start speaking now. No more dishonor in your life. No more dishonor in your life. Hear me. For those who have been trying certain things for a long time whether it's exams whether it's admission whatever you have been doing again business i don't care i don't know where the embargo came from but i break it right now from today any man that looks upon you may god cause them to bless you whatever has killed your prayer life this night i release upon you the spirit of prayer and supplication listen see let me tell you something don't ever let people there are people who are under such passion for new things the system of the kingdom is dynamic but the foundations of the things that make men grow are the same prayer the word corporate fellowship obedience if you leave any of these things and you say you are looking for power or looking for anointing is a joke you will never find it one more time i restore your prayer life in the name of jesus christ i don't know what killed your passion for the word your passion for bible study your passion for devotion your passion for the things of god but i command the restoration this night i don't know what took away your passion for the house of god but in the name of jesus may a love for the house of god like never before come upon you in the name of jesus the grace god released to bring the word triumph 
to come to pass in this ministry may that grace speak over you i speak over your life it is your year of triumph therefore whatever has mocked god in your life i command that in as you enter april from tomorrow you triumph over it hallelujah as you enter april it will not be april full it will be april wise it will be april breakthrough it will be april miracles it will be april speed agree with me again i'm praying with you between now and miracle service april please hear me results together with tears in your eyes for joy you will return with them results together with tears of joy in your eyes wave your hands and give jesus all the praise wave your hands and give jesus praise thank you lord for performance thank you lord for performance in the name of jesus christ hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us. Thank you.